boom, 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 boom. Boom, Chenka, lads and lasses. How's it going, everybody? It's the Flying Pig here on Flying Pig United with another edition of the United Career Mode for you. Episode number 50, everyone. Crikey. 50 episodes we have hit on this one. Get in there, my son. 50 episodes of the FIFA Man United Career Mode, FIFA 20. Oh, shit. This thing's popped up. Oh, bollocks. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, just hearing myself rambling in the background, making sure the stream's all right there. But yeah, 50 episodes we've done this, all about, what, three to four hours long? So we've literally done, like, over 200 hours of streams in terms of FIFA over this period. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Shout out to everybody that's been waiting in here for me, by the way. Bullshit Origin update took freaking ages, even though it was only a small update. So that's gashtastic. Uh, Mr. NLWT, how you doing? Super Sammy Gamers in the his house. How you doing, Super Sammy? Feeling super? KMR Lee, what's going on? This is Pig doing his 20-minute pre-show Zen Mode Yoga. Uh, something like that, KMR Lee, lad. <laughs> um, Griffo Chaz in the house, one of the Legiondes. He says, how long until Pig bottles it and even knocks the difficulty down or just quits career altogether? I'd love to see you try on Ultimate there, Griffo, and stream it online. I'd love to see that, Griffo. In fact, let's set that up. <laughs> but no shout out to you griffo mate great articles as well you've been on the ball mate check out the website guys flyingpigunited.com there's a couple of new bits on there from griffo Chaz. shout out to everyone that sent stuff over there's one on there from steve johnson ben Dore in the football section as well about the england team so you know some good stuff on there at the moment everyone thank you to everybody that's been doing that john hinton how are you doing the primot in the gaff how's it going hey jp is in the house jurassic park how you doing, JP? He says, sup, pig dog. Hey, not too bad, my friend. That sounds like the worst cartoon show ever. It's like cat dog, but a pig surgically connected to a dog. And you have seen Matt. He says, hey, pig, what did you have for tea? I had a, you know, bit of a bang average tea, to be fair. I just had a chicken breast, some ba some p roast potatoes, and a bit of mixed veg. Not too shabby, but a bit of a boring one, I'll be honest with you. I did have a, uh, a custard slice just before this show, though. Oh! Oh, yeah. Custard slice is good, man. Um, that's a very English English dessert. Or what is it? A dessert? Like cake or whatever? Um, yeah, custard slice. Spot on. Hey, G-Wolf is in the house too. Yeah, I'm all good, mate. Ryan Burberspin 9, top man. Big God Bob, what's going on? Um, yeah, Jonathan Gallagher says, Pig earlier, my Nick Pope dropped the ball. Oh, sorry, your comment's gone for some reason there. Anyway, thank you very much for getting in. Mrs. P in the house. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mrs. P. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> it's a Mrs. Birthday today. She's officially turned old as Fook today. <laughs> Uh, I did catch up with her yesterday, and, uh, you know, she's uh, she's looking well. She's, she's aging like a, you know, like a fine wine, but not an old wine. Still a young wine, but it's progressing into a mature, nicely bodied wine. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, <laughs> let's get on and do this show then, everyone. Yeah, happy birthday to Nicola. Nice one. Um, right, okay. Everybody, thank you very much for being patient. Where were we in the last episode? Just to give you a rundown, look at my job security. It is on a 58. That is not good. We've been having a bit of a bloody calamity since we started. To be fair, the first three games we had, who was it? City? Was it City, Liverpool, and Spurs, I think, the first three games on ultimate mode? Like, we are officially on ultimate mode now, lads and lasses. So in the last episode, we obviously tried it out, and it was gash-tastic to the point where it made me feel horrible. And stressed. And so I had to go and play some FUT draft mode. Hopefully that's not the case tonight. Because we <laughs> we are 19th in the league though after two games. So that's not good. Aaron Homeyard. What's going on? Fergie99. How are you two? Aaron Homeyard says happy birthday Nicola. Have a good one. Shout out to you and Mary Aaron. Top man for sharing it beforehand etc. Legend. Frederica Rodriguez de Paula Santos. Says pig ignoring me. Hello there Fred. I'm not ignoring you. Just happy to just see you there. Oh, Jonathan Gallagher says his pig is Nick Pope dropped the ball into his own net after someone crossed the ball. And yet, well, this game likes to do that to you sometimes, mate. Jonathan, you know, it, it tends to tends to like to mash you up a little bit. 
Right, anyway, <laughs> I guess we better get on and jump into this BS game against Sheffield United here, which will be proper BS because we're in ultimate mode. We'll see how we get on, everybody. Come on, everyone. Come on, the Baker Brigade. Let's freaking do this. It's great to have you in here tonight. Let's put the episode behind us last time and let's just crack on and smash up these Sheffield United blades tonight. Um, Super Sammy Gamer says, hi, me. Remember my mum doing good. Oh, that is good to hear, Sammy, mate. Sorry, mate. Yes, I remember now. That is absolutely spot on. Um, I'm glad to know she's doing well. I know she was in the hospital, wasn't she? The Strongman Steve says, Hey, Pigman, I'm currently 22 episodes into my career mode series. I'm on course for a perfect season on Legendary. Can you help me to 50 subs? Absolutely. Check out the Strongman Steve's channel there. Um, he's on his way to 50 subs there, and he's on his way to doing a career mode as well. So check it out. What have you got to lose? Check out Strongman Steve. Um, you know, he's, he's certainly strong, I'm guessing. So, you know, watch him for that reason alone. Lashie Barton, how you doing, Lashie? says, what's up? Yeah, all good. Primot, thank you very much. He says, spank the like. Yes, please do if you're watching tonight. Please do feather that like button. Give it a little tickle. And uh, smash a thumbs up and it'll definitely help us out. Give it a share on social media if you can as well. That'll be sick. Hey, JP, you nutter. JP's just put down a £20 gift present there, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, a super chat from JP, mate. JP, man. That is absolutely Jurassic Park of you, my friend. You've bloody bossed it up there, son. You know what I mean? I mean, that is a huge pile of super chat right there. Do you know what I mean? It makes me think of Jurassic Park when I see JP like that. Where Jeff Bot Goldblum goes up to that big Triceratops dump. That's a huge piece of shit. I think he says something like that. I can't remember it now. I think I misquoted. But JP... Thank you so much for that, buddy. Absolute hero of you, man. Honestly, that's very, very nice of you, mate. Which reminds me, actually, sorry, I nearly forgot. Thank you so much for that, JP. That's very, very kind. Um, what a hero. And also, Gungshi getting in here before the show started with a cheeky little PayPal over. Let me just see what Gungshi wrote. He says, hi, pig. I just noticed you're streaming soon, but... Oh, shit. But I don't know if I'll stay... He didn't put the whole shit in there. He says, I don't know if I can stay awake. I'll pop on in the chat and if I'm still up. If not, best wishes to you in the Baker Brigade and smash up some damn fools for me. Gungshi, you bloody hero. Thank you so much for that, Gungers. Another bloody hero supporting the channel tonight. We've only just got going. So thank you so much to everybody that's done that. Really, really appreciate it. Absolute bloody heroes. Let's let's crack on. We're going to smash up some fools for the Bacon Brigade here. Shout out to all the Bacon Brigade. Hope you've been having a good day. You know, hope you've been keeping well. Staying safe. Not going and playing Tonsawaki with some random person down the street and stuff like that. And staying safe still. Um... <laughs> Jack and Brad Gaming in the house as well. Shout out to Jack and Brad Gaming. Um, Big God Bob says, Pig's a better singer than Goldbridge. That's for sure. Why? Right, okay, let's, let's just stop talking about other channels and stuff like that, Big God Bob, anyway. But yeah, fair play, he says, his FIFA streams are gashed. Oh, right, okay. Lashi Barton says, yes, Gunners. Jack and Brad Gaming says, love you, Pig. Thank you very much, Jack and Brad Gaming. Federico Di Paolo Santos says, Pig, you can't play Ultimate without changing the sliders. Did you check the link out? Um, I don't know if I did, Frederico. I'm going to be honest. I think I might have missed that one, my friend. Um, <laughs> uh, we can play it on Ultima. I'm not changing the sliders. I'm just playing it on the bang mode you're supposed to play it on. We're going to destroy these fools like that. Let's get a little bit of faith. We've been through this before, everybody. We've been through the pig out era. We've been through that era of doubting Don Piglioni. You know? It's not good. You've got to have faith in the pig. Pig's going to learn. Pig's going to adapt. Pig's going to overcome. That's what we do on this channel. <laughs> right, I hear you though. It's going to be difficult. Let's play this match against uh, Sheffield United then. Hey, Valerie Edwards says, Pig, what's your score prediction for the Man United versus Tottenham next week? I think we're going to win. I think we're going to beat them. I think it's going to be 2-1 to us. I don't know what the who's going to score. I just think it's going to be 2-1 to us. I think we're going to win. That's what I'm going for. And Super Sammy Gamer says, please sub to him. Also, shout out to you and your channel there then. Um, Big God Bob says, true though, pig. JP says, Nicola, I've been social distancing from Phil. It's so painful. <laughs> social distancing from Phil Jones. Sounds like a good plan. It doesn't sound painful at all. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Then. So as you can see, this is our team. It's a sick old team that we have. Oh, my days, look at this team. How can we not even beat teams on Ultimate? I don't care if it's on... Oh, hang on. We've got to put it on Ultimate first. I'm going to have to change that properly. Let's put it on World Class accidentally. <laughs> 
Yeah, go on, K. Amani. He says, we don't doubt you. The difficulty is impossible. Right, I see what you're saying. Well, let's give it a go. I mean, let's just see if we have to sack this whole idea off entirely um, and play some FUT draft again. Let's see, because look, we did play the best teams out there in the last episode. So we'll see how we do against these lesser teams. G Wolf says, JP, keep your gooch on. I'm just joshing fella. <laughs> More than what I could do, mate, to, to bows to you, bro. Ah, we got a little bit of pants going on in the, in the live chat. Anyway, here we go. And <laughs> Didi and Tenari, everyone. Hey, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Um, weather's a bit shit in England at the moment, actually. It was really nice, but we can't complain because the whole month of May was basically glorious, like lovely sunshine every single day. And it was pretty awesome. But yeah, it's just wet and just miserable at the moment. I don't know where you guys are, but yeah, it's pure filth out there. Super Sammy Gamer says 10 nil to Tottenham. Nobody, it's not going to happen, is it? Jose's team scoring 10. Nah. KMR Lee says, the fact you got a full 90 plus rated team and can't break teams. Hey, we played the best three teams in the league. I've got a feeling we're not going to win the league this year. But as long as we can beat the likes of Sheffield United, all the teams that we should be beating, even if it is on um, ultimate mode, we should be able to batter them. Yeah, uh, Mrs. Pieces. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be reunited soon with that pig-booted, thonged man. <laughs> Griffo Chaz says, how many controllers will be broken? How many F-bombs will be thrown? How much will pig melt? No, 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 no. We're staying zen. We're staying zen. We've been doing, doing our zen yoga beforehand. Um, El Diablo Rojo, he says, hey, that means the crazy red. That's a good name. He says, hey, pig, you are awesome. I open a channel for the Manchester United Spanish speaking community. Oh, gracias, senor. And hola to you, my friend, amigo. <laughs> and shout out to your Spanish speaking channel there. Uh, nice one. Primot says, Mrs. P, what kind of cake you have? <laughs> we had a cheeky little Chinese takeaway yesterday, didn't we? That was our that was our cake, but no. Did you get a cake? Actually, no, I didn't get her a cake. Uh, hey, Lashi Barton, have a great time at work, my friend. Thank you very much for getting in here. Catch up with you soon, hero. <laughs> oh no, weak defending there from us. Wait a sec, let's concentrate here. Let's get this together. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, that is not the start we were looking for on this channel tonight. That's not the start we're looking for on this stream. Do you know what? That was just terrible defending. I'm not too sure what happened there. Ellie's in the his heels. How are you doing, Ellie? Uh, thank you very much for stopping by and getting involved. Ryan Berber Spin as well. How are you doing, guys, then? Get in and let me know. Griffo says, oh, my God, then, Puglioni. Neck looked on fire because the background pyrotechnics. Jack and Brad says, sacked in the moment. Prunot says, some sort of emoji face. Look, guys. It's... The was that Andreas Pereira playing for them? Hold on, we've got to have a look at Sheffield United's team here. Don't tell me they've got Andre. They've got Andreas Pereira playing for them, everybody. Andreas Pereira is now a proper established Premier League player. Right, anyway, we're going to come back in this one. Hey, Michael Collins, what a hero as well getting in here. Mickey C. He says, hey, oh, pig, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good, Michael Collins, man. How are you doing, mate? How's Neil? How's Buzz? Aaron Homeyard says, I'm good, thanks, G-Wolf. Yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> right, let's crack on. Hey, Mrs. P says, my daughter kindly made one for me. A sponge cake with light blue icing and fruit pastels. Oh, that's pretty freaking awesome. Ryan Burbersman says, found his level. Right, calm down, everyone. Let's, let's, let's do it. I wasn't concentrating at the start there. I was distracted. Here we go, then. Alfonso Davies through the middle. Wilfred and Didi on the ball. <laughs> hey, we won it back. We won it back. It was some. This is some awful play, and they're closing us down. They've got like a little cluster, a cluster bomb in the midfield. There, we're gonna have to go down the wings. We're going down the wings. It's a great tackle. Piss off, referee. I mean, I just don't quite get the what was wrong with that. <laughs> hey, Michael Collins is on his way home from work. I hope you had a good day at work, pal. JW92 in the house. Has anyone else been watching Euro Rewind on BBC Red Button? So much classic matches. Currently in Netherlands v Czech Republic. You know, I haven't watched it as much as I should, but I've watched a bit of it. Um, Yeah, JP says, it's funny how the ones that don't super chat talk about 40% YouTube. I think it's actually 30%, you know. 
I think it's 30%. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it's 30%, so it's not that bad. But, yeah, thank you for that. No, honestly, you know, whichever way people want to send it, it doesn't really matter, you know. I mean, it obviously, yeah, it's it's uh, it's just much appreciated, man. Do you know what I mean? Very, very appreciated. Michelle Vella in the house as well. How's it going? Hello, going to start assignment at midnight. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. What am I doing reading comments out when I'm getting penetrated here by Sheffield United? Hold on. Hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Okay, time to get my wits about me. Wits about me are coming. <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is more like it. This is more like it. Space over on the right. There he is. Wins it. Tonali's won it back. And he's given it away with a literal awful header. Not quite sure why. Again. It's all right. We got that one. Aaron Wambasaka, the spider covering it. Gets his head up. Gives it away. Good challenge by the spider. Through to Tonali. This looks promising. This looks promising. Can we get Rashford away? No, it's covered. Bit of a pull ball into him. I've got a feeling we are going to struggle on this game mode, everybody. Like... <laughs> judging by the first one I'm not going to let it get get me down though because I know that it's just a bullshit mode but look we can we can win some games we're going to play this until we bloody win a game it's as simple as that we are going to win a game tonight oh come on lads it's like almost like it's not just ultimate it's ultimate gashness mode like ultimate mode of just screwery like all your passes just don't go to their intended target it's like it's it's just a, some weird ai some weird ai stuff going on man some elon musk neural link brain crap going on that we can't fathom it's like they're preemptive striking us or something go on son go on then son yes son there we go killian and bappy lad you're the best player in the world killian on this game surely you can get the better of, of your man oh damn it decent chance there but the goalkeepers made the stop and we have to take our chances that's the key because they are going to take their chances on ultimate that's the difference that's the only real well obviously the pressing and everything is different as well but it's the main thing is the when they get their chances they take them <laughs> Stan studs up on Andreas Pig says Primot. Absolutely, my friend. Oh, Dodorama makes the save then. Come on, boys. Get out. Get a bit of shape. What's going on, boys? You're all clustering. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Oh, come on, Dodorama. All those blue shirts then. You passed it to him. Good challenge. All right, okay. Here we go. Mount the counter. Mount the counter. Down the left, Alfonso Davies. Alfonso Davies, lad. Little rainbow flick from Alfonso Davies. At least we've got the throw. Alfonso Davies wants it back. He's got the space. He wants to get his head up. Alfonso Davies. No. And Mason Green was obviously a 95 on this game now, for anybody that doesn't know. We're on Season 7. Um, we just turned it up to Ultimate, so he's probably not going to get much action up there. But he's on 95 rated beast. Pretty sick. And he's still only 24, I believe. Great block. <laughs> Necessary block. Proper last-ditch block, but it was a great sliding tackle there, but or sliding block. But seriously, that was necessary, and it was very dodgy. And I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. Aaron Wambasaka, though, here we come. On the counter-attack, he's just going to take it. Take it, Aaron. Nobody's chosen him down, so take it, Aaron. Take it, Aaron. Yes, Aaron. Yes, Aaron. Yes, Aaron, son. Yes, Aaron. Oh. Good bit of play by Aaron Wambasaka there. He, no messing around. Come on, what's going on there? Rafael Varane, what are you even doing up there? Oh no, he left us wide open now. Tonali's in there to cover though, Tonali's covering. It's been a bit of a journey on this career mode, hasn't it? There's been some ups, there's been some downs. We're going to adapt and overcome everybody. Oh!
Ah, shit, it's Andreas Pereira as well. Just to troll me that little bit more. Like, that's what annoys me about this game. It's always bloody Tom Cleverley or bloody Andreas Pereira or something that gets the goal against me. You know? And it's a sick finish. If only Andreas Pereira could do that in a Manchester United shirt in real life. That's how you know this game is bullshit, everybody. Because Andreas Pereira doesn't do stuff like that. Unreal. Hey, Joshua Whitfield, shout out to you, my friend. In the United, 2-0 Andreas scored. Fake Braziliana. <laughs> oh, oh, you know it's rubbish when he's getting on the score sheet. Hey, Don Piglioni's in the house. What's going on? I'll read your comment out shortly. Sorry, matey. And, uh, and also, Gaz Elliott. What's going on, lads? Ah. Oh. Yes, Alfonso. 2 0 to Sheffield United here. <sighs> Come on, we're gonna we're gonna win. We're gonna win. Forget this. Here we go. Look at this move. Yes, have to cut back in. Have to outsmart them. They're only an AI. They're an AI bot. You know what I mean? They're freaking, you know, what are they? Some 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 AI rubbish. They're not gonna outsmart the pig. Okay? So we just got to work them out. How do you beat them? How do you beat them? You, let's lull them in a bit, a bit more. Lull them in, maybe. Lull them in. Pass it around just that little bit more. You know, like this. Just, just absolutely mesmerise them a little bit with the passing. That's better. That's better. This is better. Oh, damn it. But the challenge always seems to come in. That's the thing. They're closing us down pretty well. Oh, it's very frustrating, man. <laughs> Not going to lie, this game mode is annoying. Don't play this game mode. Oh, very nearly 3-0 there as well. KMR Lee says Klopp's teeth are shinier than Liverpool's future. <laughs> they're very shiny, aren't they? <laughs> they're, they're too white. They're like, you know that episode of Friends where Ross gets like his teeth bleached, but he leaves them on like an hour too long or something. Um, so they go super white. That's kind of like what Jurgen Klopp's teeth are like. I don't think he realises. It's like somebody needs to tell him, Jurgen, just keep drinking coffee or something, mate. Like your teeth are too white, mate. You're they're too white. Craig Herbert says, "Come on, pig, let's have a win." Thank you, Craig Herbert. I'll try, mate. I'll try my best. I mean, it's not going too well so far, is it? But hey, look, I'm trying. It's on ultimate mode, everyone. Look, we all saw what happened when we put it on FUT draft, mate. We didn't have bloody won the last thing where we were playing real people. We battered fools. Do you know what I mean? But up against this ultimate, it's just it's just ultimately gash. That's what it should really be called. JP says Bob's got a cabinet full of data comments. He does, doesn't he? I know often I see message retracted. I think, what what on earth did Big God Bob say? Hey, but Big God Bob, it's great to have you in the community, mate. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> um Seriously, P P Big Hot Bob's always in here. Shout out to your commitment. Shout out everybody else who's always in here as well. You know who you are. Like, thank you to everybody that does that and uh, and gets involved and makes this community fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 oh. no. Oh, oh, come on. Just let them have it back to smash one in there. What a bullshit game this is, though. Screw this game. I've had enough of this game already, and we've only just bloody started. Bloody Caleri. What a rubbish game. I hate this game. It's a ridiculous game. Ultimate mode. Go screw yourself, man. Seriously, do one. I've... What's even the point of having this on there? It's like they don't miss, really, do they? Welsh Red says, start again in Div 2 Pig and rely on youth. Will be fun. Well, how do we do that, though, my friend? We'd have to do it be a different team and then it wouldn't be a united career mode you know <laughs> but i hear you though i mean this, this is just simply gashtastic to be fair i mean maybe i should just bloody change it do you know what i mean just start playing fut draft again because <laughs> this is pathetic so far come on we can score a goal though can't we What a shit effort from who I don't even know who it was Havertz, but terrible effort from Havertz. 
Joshua Wilford says, today has not been your day at the moment, Pig. No, you're right there. Jonathan Gallagher says, Pig, don't waste your time in Ultimate. <laughs> Super Sammy Gamer. Yeah, you've already said that, Sammy. You've already said that. But yeah, please sub, sub to Sammy's channel there. KM says, you're meant to mess about with the sliders on Ultimate. Oh, no. Hold on. We weren't even concentrating. I was reading comments out, but Donorama saved us. Viking Red in the house as Junior's Raging. Div Rivals says, hi, GP. <laughs> How you doing, Viking? Thank you very much, JW92. He says, give this video a cheeky like, lads and lasses. Yeah, please do smash that thumbs up button if you're tuning in, everyone. Give it a share if you can. Put it on your granny's wall, whatever. Oh, come on then, boys. <sighs> I think we can do it, though. You know, it's a learning process. Remember remember when we first started on Legendary? Like, surely there are people out there that just smash up Ultimate every single time. Of course there is. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's got to be. There's got to be people who smash Ultimate every single time. So there's just got to be a way. There's got to be a way you got to tactically outclass these fools, you know? That's how you got to do it. Look at this, you see? Just don't let them have it, and then they can't do anything. That's probably a good way of doing it. And then if, if there's a pass not on, wait until there is a pass on. Not like that. <laughs> that was terrible. And now we're exposed. Aaron Wampasaka not in position up and Meccano's having to come across. Got to cover though. Oh, for Pete's sake. I mean, it's just too good. Did you look at that? They just crossed it in there. It's a freaking fantastic volley. No chance of missing that one. I mean, bloody hell. Welsh Red says, unless you make a league with all the best teams in the world, big. Things you can't do any of that customization stuff on FIFA, can you? G Wool says, damn, that sounds very nice, Mrs. P. Mrs. P says, my daughter. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Griffo says, I might have to exercise my authority and ban Nicola and Mrs. P at this rate. She's making me so much jealous of this cake. Hang on, what's this cake then? Oh, yeah, the fruit pastels one. Oh, yeah, that does sound intensely good. Ryan Burbersman says, defending like Arsenal v. Brentford. Bit harsh, mate. In the United States, 4-0. Wow. K.M. is sacked in the morning. Sacked in the morning. Jack and Bad Gamers is Don Sacklione. Jonathan Gallagher says Ultimate is really unlikely. Joshua Whitford says Pig, you think United will beat West Brom in the friendly tomorrow? You what, mate? This is friendly on. <laughs> Sorry, is this... We've got... What's that? Is this televised? Sorry, you, this is news to me, mate. Are you serious? Sorry, I've been freaking out of out of it last couple of days, like with uh, with the football stuff. So, what's going on? <laughs> We've got a friendly, have we, before the Spurs game against West Brom? Is that what you're telling me? And is this televised? Is this on MUTV or any rubbish? Thank you, JW92. Says you still have my back in pig. Thank you, my friend. I don't know if I've got my own back in at this stage, though. I'll be honest. So it's going to be difficult. I think the I think Sheffield United have smashed us worse than any of the other teams. To be fair. Right. Okay. Let's make a couple of substitutions. Then everyone. Might as well bring this Harland. Actually, no. We'll bring Werner on. Melter. I was going to say. Let's bring. Uh, let's bring. Hakimi on for Aaron Saka. And let's bring, bring Valverde on there for Tanadi, who's looking a little bit tired. Harry Awasthi says, Wow, the scoreline I did, I did not expect, question mark. You should expect it, because we're on ultimate mode. Like, that's the key. You know? That's the thing. People coming into these videos, seeing us getting smashed 4-0, not realising we're on ultimate mode. We're on ultimate mode. We're getting smashed up because we're on ultimate mode. <sighs> Oh, dear. Here we go, then. Here we go. Come on. Come on. We can go and get at least a goal. At least a goal. Nah, 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 nah. I think I'll change the title of this video, lads and lasses. I think I'll change the title of this video. Oh, bollocks. Freaking ultimate team stream. Do you know what I mean? I think we're going to play some ultimate team, guys. Do you know what I mean? Like... Bloody hell. This is this is gastastic. 
This is really annoying. Griffo says, any form of cake will make me jealous. Yeah, I need to have some uh, some more cake. I did have a custard slice beforehand. I guess that counts. It was freaking awesome. Oh, Donna Rommel with the save at the near post. K.O. Marley says, melt Chester United. Yeah, no, Griffo, you were right, mate. We're, we're bottling out, mate. We're bottling out. Obina Martin says, hi, pig. How you doing, Obina? To be fair, legendary is the... Is, oh, you know, to be fair, legendary is the, is the right um the right difficulty for me let's be honest now took us six years to win the league on legendary so i think it's the right difficulty for us and this is just a little bit ultimately difficult it's just a bit ultimate jw92 says play 10 at the back kmr lee says just don't play ultimate simples <laughs> thank you viking red no i'm chilling i'm chilled out viking red i'm, I'm chilled out i know this game's just bullshit I know it's a BS game and I can't really do anything about it on Ultimate. I've, I've felt that now. Big God Bob says, Mrs. P, yeah, you, I support your man by being in here. So often doesn't happen on other channel. Happy birthday, by the way. Shame you can't have a party. I couldn't even have a proper one for my 18th though, recently. Oh, Big God Bob, well, a special happy birthday and we'll have a little bacon brigade party for you virtually in our minds. But yeah, <laughs> but no, sorry about that, Big God Bob, that you couldn't have a party. But thank you very much for that nice comment there, mate. Yes, you do get in here and show your support regularly. You're a bloody hero. Harry S. Waffy says, I think you should change it back. Yeah, well, you know, I probably should. But it's kind of annoying because I did say we put on ultimate when we won the league. And that's what we've done. So <sighs> shit, isn't it? But anyway, screw this, you know. How, how's uh, how's how's tricks, kids? Do you know what I mean? uh, JP, come up with something funny, mate. Come up with some some sort of funny freaking game or something. That's your forte, my friend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just freaking take this and st stick it up, freaking Bill Gates's freaking rear. You know why? Because he invented this bloody computer that I'm playing this bloody game on. And then go and find the twat who's in charge of EA and developing this aspect of the career mode game of the ultimate difficulty. And you string them up. That's what I say. Because they're having a double day, man, about this. About this bloody game, man. <sighs> Freaking nightmare. I can't be doing with this ultimate mode. Honestly, what's the point? What is actually the point? Why even have it in the game, though? Why even have it in the game? Ah, oh, 6-0 against the Blades. Shut up, would you? 6-0 against the Blades. I mean, it's unnecessary. Eagle says, you let Sheffield United play right through you. Eagle, I, uh, is it just me? I never knew you were a Crystal Palace fan. It actually all makes sense now. Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, the Eagles. I never knew that. But you're a Crystal Palace fan. That's messed up. <laughs> hey, no worries. No, good to have everybody in here. Primot says, I'm going to bake a cake tomorrow. Good shout, Primot. What kind of cake? Jack and Brad Gamers is breaking. Steve Bruce appointed. Steve Bruce appointed after Piglioni sacked. <laughs> JW92 says, there goes the chill. No, nah, man. No, no, no. We're staying chilled out. We're chilled. We're chilling. Don Piglioni says, hi. Hello. My name is Phil Jones. No bones. I was born without any freaking bones. And that's right. I'm still a United player, but I only am because of David De Gea. Lucky I've got a really good goalie behind me because I'm absolutely freaking gash. Sometimes you'd think I'd be stoned on coke or at the very least puffing hash. Hi, my name is Phil Jones and I really suck. <laughs> Don Piglioni coming in there with some venom. About Phil Jones. Wow. <laughs> Super Sammy says, I need to go. No worries, Super Sammy. Griffo says, check Telegram. Oh, I'm in the middle of a stream here, Griffo, mate. I've got the YouTube app up on my phone now. I've got to go to the Telegram app. Oh, Griffo. <laughs> this better be good. This better be good, Griffo. <laughs> What is this? Icons available in FIFA 20 career mode. Are you taking the mic? How do you do that then, Griffo? So, icons available in career mode consoles. Customize, it says consoles brackets. It Does that exclude the PC? Start a new career mode with current squads. What is that, Griffo, mate? Are you serious? You can play, with, you can play a career mode with legends, with icons now on FIFA. Is that a legit thing? You can actually play with, like, what? We could play with, like, Giggsy and Paul Scholes and all those guys. Do you reckon? 
Yeah, JP says Don Piglioni's getting a gurning horse head in his in his bed for that one. <laughs> right, nice one. Here we go then. Thirteen minutes left. I guess we're we're gonna try and score a goal quickly, but this is quite preposterous. Just too easy for them, really. But yeah, Griffo, he says, I haven't tried it, but try it. Where, Where is it? Where is it? How do I do that? Is it just on a, you can start a career mode with icons, you're telling me? I think maybe we're going to do that, guys. <laughs> you know, that sounds pretty sick, rather than doing this atrocity tonight. What do you reckon, guys? Because, look, I mean, we won the domestic treble last year. Unless we put it back on legendary, which is what I would like to do, then... Uh, it's just, uh, this is just going to be a calamity. We are going to get sacked, but we're not going to get sacked anytime soon. You know, it's going to be a long time of awful football before we get sacked. So do we really want to see that? And I think the answer to that is no. Yeah, Ride the Spurs says, this is brutal. This is pure unadulterated filth, mate. I ain't feeling it. I, I wouldn't mind if it was a, a real person battering me like this, but it's not. It's some BS AI nonsense. Oh, come on. Every, you just lose out every time. Timo Werner is one of the best in the world, and he can't even stand his ground at all against these ultimate melters. Nice. There we go. Killian, son. Killian Mbappe. Yes, lad. Oh, no. Oh, yes, lad. Oh, no, lad. Oh, do it, says Ride the Spiral. What's that? <laughs> Ride the Spiral says, back to legendary. Oh, right, yes, yes, yes. Michael Collins says, anyone blaspheming against Lord Phil will have their house TP'd or pillows farted on, courtesy of the PDL. <laughs> Watch out for the pink eye, then, courtesy of Michael Collins. Uh, McKayu's in the, his house. How you doing, McKayu Kramer? He says, hi, everyone. How you doing, Mr. Kramer? Good to see you. Yeah, this is brutal. This ultimate mode's absolutely brutal, man. It's just no fun at all, is it? It's not even fun, man. They're just freaky. You're just coming at you like a bunch of bloody Terminators. It's like we're playing 11 T-1000s with, with, you know, with a, a T-100 in goal. That's like, with, that's, the, that's what it's like. You got, you know, 10 of those. What's his name? Robert Patrick, is it? I don't know. I forget his name. But you know the, the guy? I think it's that. I think it's the, you know, the cop in Terminator 2. We got we got 10 of that, ten of those out on the field, like liquid metal, sinister, like sinister liquid metal beasts up against us. And then we got a T-100 Arnie in goal. You know what I mean? You always got to put the fat king in, in goal. So, <laughs> oh, man. Do -do 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 -do. Oh no! You see what I mean? It's like we're playing up against a bloody bunch of Terminators here. Eddie O2, how's it going? Eddie O2 in the house. Good to see you, Eddie. How's your day been, mate? Are you all good? Same goes to Eugene McGeever as well. Good to see you. He says, Severe 1, Real Betis, nil. Nice one. Thanks for the update there. Uh, Finston Churchill, says Fergie99. Oh. Yeah, Michael Connor says, Have you seen this boy? <laughs> Yeah, man, he's uh, he's good in that, isn't he? He uh, plays it quite well, quite sinister. Eddie Oti says, hey, Mrs. P, I'm good. Heard you and Pigo got some quality time in. Oh, yes. Mrs. P says, that Terminator football session sounds amazing. Uh, Fergie Don't Nice says, Eugene, what are you on about? KM says, Pig, you came up with that Phil Jones song. I remember you playing on the guitar. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I've got such a bad memory. Phil Jones has no freaking bones. <laughs> I've bloody forgotten already. <laughs> Eddie Otu says, This is sad, Pigo. This is, sorry, this is bad, Pigo. And Unbu no catch is Pigo. Maybe it's Pez time. <laughs> well, uh, do you know what? It's definitely time for something else. Because I'm not playing on this ultimate mode. Griffo Chaz said something like there was this awesome new career mode with icons. Maybe we should have a little cheeky look at that. What do you guys reckon? Let's have a little vote in the live chat, everybody. I want to, you know, do what the majority want to do, really. So 
If you want us, we can play online on Ultimate Team against people. We can play FU Drafts, uh, FUT Drafts online on Ultimate Team against people. We could play the, the new Icon career mode that Griffo Chaz is on about. Sounds quite interesting. Yeah, Griffo says, if PC counts as console, then update squads, customize, edit team, search icon by name, add to team, start new career with current squad. That's what it said, but don't cry at me if it fails. Well, it sounds a bit ominous there, Griffo Chaz. It sounds like failure is destined. And to be fair, if it's said on their consoles only, then that just means PlayStation and Xbox, doesn't it? Because the PC, it's not classed as a console. So it may be on there. But I've got a feeling it's not going to work. Hey, Ruddy Can't Games in the house. How you doing, Ruddy Can't Games? He says, F-U-T drafts. Ride the Spyro says, do a poll. I don't even know how to do that, my friend. <laughs> I couldn't possibly begin to do that. Craig Herbert says, new icon career mode. Fergie 99 says, I don't think there is an icon career mode, to be honest. Okay, well, on, P on PC, there may well not be, actually. It's called Phil Jones. It's called Phil Jones Blues, says Tom Piglioni. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've forgotten it now, though. No, Pinder Martin says, Ultimate is destroying your career, big Mate, Ultimate is just ultimately gashed. Like, 7-0, like, come on, I can't even be bothered. It's a rubbish game mode. Like, we'll, we'll we'll put it back on Legendary or whatever, but almost after that, it's like we need to, like, play some real humans or something, you know? <laughs> James Price is just checking in, Pig. How are you doing? James Price, not too bad, mate. Just lost 7-0 to Sheffield United. You know, pretty standard. Pretty standard stuff. <laughs> GJ Disco Dave says, good evening, Pig and the Brigade. Sorry I'm late. I was watching the PS5 reveal. Looks absolutely epic. Killer design. Fair play. Yeah, I forgot that I was on. That's pretty um, pretty sweet. I'm going to have to catch up with that. Sheffield United played better. Give them a bit of props there because they did. Uh, Griffo Chess says, I forgot you are B-Tech on PC. <laughs> it's so funny. You were so wrong there, Griffo. It's like I was playing Xbox the other day. I just hopped on to see... To, to, to see if I could transfer my character or use my character on an Xbox on GTA, right? And I turned it on, and I had to just turn it off immediately. I was disgusted at the level of graphics on an Xbox One. After playing on a PC, mate, it's night and day. You just don't know. If you know, you know, but you just don't know. <laughs> Ruddy says, follow my Twitter. I'll start to play a new game soon. There you go. Ruddy can't game. Same on Twitter, I think it is. What rank one today? They were the better team. Why is my squad happy with that? My squad morale's gone up. They're scumbags. Vishal Jonkies has smashed some online players, mate. Yeah, I think you might be right here. I think it's good, good idea, isn't it? I think we're going to change the title of this video, guys. Is that a bottle out? It's a bottle out, isn't it? But come on, this is a joke. Ruddy shambles. Yeah, Ruddy says, and if you don't know, now you know. Ruddy can game, says Eddie O2. There you go. Should that would be more appropriate. Be so drunk, he smash them online players. Right, okay. So let's let's just uh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Forget this nonsense. Let's smash them online fools. We're gonna save it, yeah, whatever. We're gonna save it, you know. We'll come back to this guys. <laughs> we'll come back to this guys. Oh shit. Oh, it's alright, it's saved it anyway. Um yeah, we'll come back to this, guys. We're going to go into Ultimate Team here. And uh, in order to play Ultimate Team, it's squad L, right? Yeah. You signed Jones and you lost 7-0, Pig, says Eddie United. Ruddy Can't Games says, thanks for the donation again, Pig. I used it to get a new game. Oh, that's sick, Ruddy. Uh, uh, no worries, Ruddy, man. Yeah, no, it's just uh, good to see you on YouTube stream. And I know you were um and an ah and about getting that El Elgato because they are expensive and uh, just it was, you know, not much for me. But obviously you've supported me for years anyway, but... Just a little um, something for you to help you get, you know, to help you pay for the Elgato or get a new game. Glad you got a new game. What new game did you get? JP says, Mrs. P, yeah, 28th and I'm old. Oh, JP, you are not old, son. Yes, you're not old. Um, but I hear you. We all are getting old. But you're not old, lad. KM says, put it back on Legendary. No room for racism. EA Sports stand with our African-American black community of friends, players, colleagues, partners, and all those who are opposed to discrimination in any form. We are reintroducing and granting everyone with Premier League No Room for Racism kit in FIFA 20, encouraging all to stand together and show you support. There is no room for racism anywhere. Get in there, EA. Nice move. Let's have a look then. So we've got a new cheeky little kit, have we? <laughs> Wait, what's all this stuff then? Season progress. 
claim reward. We've got a whole bunch of rewards to claim here then. So we've got a couple of packs just to open straight away on Ultimate Team. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to change the name because I don't want it to be too misleading to people. I'm just going to put it, change the name on YouTube of this um, stream to something else. <laughs> because it's just, uh, it's not really appropriate, is it? But anyway, yeah, Eddie Oti says, well done, EA. Absolutely, yeah, good to see them, um, you know, doing something like that to try and unite the FIFA football community on there. In solidarity, I will change my kit to the Say No to Racism kit once I've established where it is on there. So, yeah, spot on. Griffo Chaz says, when is the Flying Pig Gaming getting some content? Yes, very, very soon, Griffo. Basically, once the football's back, all the gaming stuff is going to be taking place over on the Flying Pig Gaming channel. So thank you very much for that, Griffo. You can go over and subscribe to Flying Pig Gaming. The link is in the description. And uh, be prepared for when we start posting lots of stuff on the gaming channel. But absolutely, good call, Griffo. That's definitely going to be happening soon. Um, right, okay. Here we go. Two seconds. Let me just change it to... Yeah. Let's go... Let's change it. It says the thumbnail still says career mode, though, so it kind of... I'll just put FUT draft at the start, you know, screw it. Jonathan Gallagher says pig plays ultimate team. <laughs> yeah, that's what it should be called, pretty much. Uh, Vogue99 says you should have stayed at pigs for your B-Day, Mrs. P. Yeah, unfortunately, wasn't able to because um, of, you know, uh, <laughs> ah, situations with children etc uh, peter martin says well said ea eddie says i'm 34 this year oh man tell me about it. i'm 33 this year we're getting on aren't we we're seriously getting on a wee bit it's no good hey ruddy can't came with a super chat here nice one mate he says happy birthday mrs p top man thank you very much for that griffo says flyingpigunited.com check out the new site for all things united and much more there you go look at griffo chaz's comment there everybody check out the new website flyingpigunited.com a new manchester united news source go over to the facebook page as well flying pig united and chuck a like on it everyone if you haven't done so yet Let's have a look, Man, Man United. Sorry, guys, I'm just changing the the thing on the on the on the fly here. Man United. Right, whatever, that'll do, <laughs> screw, screw it, I'll just do it on the fly there, it's fine, it should change. Anyway, there's over, oh hang on, there's over 60 of you legends tuned in right now, thank you to everybody that's tuning in and stopping by, absolute bloody heroes, uh, much appreciated to you all for getting in here, do us a favour if you're watching, and smash a cheeky little like on this video if you can, that definitely helps us out on the old YouTube algorithm, lads and lasses, so hit that like button, give it a share if you can, just updating the tags here, and uh, we should be all good to go. Brilliant stuff. Okay. Oh, tags are too long. That's gash. <laughs> Still too long. What's that about? Should have just left it. Should have just left it. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. So we've changed the name of it anyway. Right, here we go then, lads and lasses. Let's just get on and sm let's just let's just smash up some fools, some real life fools. Because that's what I like doing, you know. I like smashing up real life fools. <laughs> that's what we like to do. Okay, let's claim this bad boy then. We've got a gold pack. Claim another one. It'd be nice if we actually got something good in a pack. Uh, Perlo we can get, can we? When can we get him? Oh, we need a little bit more XP for that one, but that, that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, let's open up these couple of packs then, lads and lasses. We've got some stuff to deal with. Oh, okay, great stuff. So look, we've got this Say No to Racism kit, which is pretty sweet. Um, so we're going to just, uh, we're going we're gonna to replace, we might as well replace that one. Um, then we, yeah, let's do that for now. Let's show some sol solidarity. No room for racism. Yeah, let's stick. I already, already had that one anyway. So they brought that back. Let's go with the old stadium theme. Already had it anyway. Um, what about this? Already had it anyway. So they've just given me the same stuff that I already bloody had. I've got duplicates of them. Do you know what I mean? That's not good, is it? Like, okay, I, you know, say no to racism, but at least give me something else different. <laughs> you know, you already gave me these ages ago. <laughs> uh. 
Jesus, right. Okay, here we go then. Browse packs, everybody. Let's open up some stuff. We have got a jumbo premium gold pack there, so hopefully it'll be good. <clears throat> Come then, Virgil van Dijk, you melter. Give me something good. No, that's not good. Lax out. Bloody laxative, more like. He looks like he's just been given some laxative as well. It's not the nicest facial expression. It, he looks like a man who's just discovered that he's got a pain in his belly. To be fair, don't you think? Lax out. Look at him. Anyway, he's, uh, he's, 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 he's gash. This is clearly a gash pack. That's not good. Get rid of that. Fulgini. Center transfer list. I'll just quick sell him, whatever. Uh, let's open up this jumbo bad boy then. This could actually be pretty decent. These packs are supposed to be decent. We haven't got anything good though, but they're supposed to be decent. Mr. NLWT says ultimate team again, pig. What happened to career mode? Oh, come on, LaGuardia. That's a bloody airport in America, isn't it? It's not a football player that we want to know anything about. Bloody New York. It's near Ruddy. It's near bloody Ruddy, isn't it? All right, anyway, let's, um, let's, let's just, oh, God. Shambles of a couple of packs there. Truly gash-tastic, but let's get on and do something. So, guys, what do you think? FUT Rivals? So, do you want to play a bit of online Rivals, Division Rivals? Or are you up for playing, um, or do you want to play FUT Draft again, lads and lasses? Thing is, everybody has got a pretty good team now, and, like, my squad on here is obviously Manchester United centric that's what we were trying to do on this ultimate team mode is is build the best manchester united side that there is so um so we have got a manchester united centric side but what that does mean is it's not, it's not the best because <laughs> on this game united don't have the highest rate of players or anything like that so yeah absolutely dj samuel how you doing dj samuel any new people getting in here that i haven't said hello to hello to you all um, James Price's pig, if you get sacked in career mode, you will take up the San Marino job. <laughs> FUT Draft says Griffo Chaz. FUT says Jonathan Gallagher. Ruddy says in Queens, New York, for anyone who cares. Fair play, yeah. Uh, Eddie O2 says James. Steve Johnson says thank you. Mr. NLWT says wait, so what happened? Um, oh, we, we, we lost 7 0 to Sheffield United, and then uh, we decided to play Ultimate Team. We were on ultimate mode, though, okay? Um, JP says, Berber with the sprinkle of mesh. Right, okay, then. <laughs> Our best player is De Gea by a country mile. Um, Eddie Otu says, Pez. Uh, it'd be a bit of a ass to set that up at the moment, Eddie Otu, son. Um, but definitely the next... I'll tell you what, the next thing we do on this channel will be Pez. We'll do the Bacon Brigade live. How does that sound, then, on the next stream? So we'll get into that. We'll just have a little look at it with the players and stuff. It's going to be sick. So, yeah, that, we've been talking about that for ages. Let's do it. Let's actually do it. Michael Connor says, San Marino, a submarine supremo. That sounds like a Beatles song or something that they wrote when they were smacked up on LSD. Um, right, okay, let's... Uh, well, not you wouldn't be smacked up on LSD, would you? You'd be LSD'd up on LSD. But anyway... Featured objective 20, right, okay, let's do the online draft then, everyone. We had a good bit of fun last time when we did that, and I think we should try and try and win the draft. We got to the final last time, and we lost 3-2. Um, pretty much, let's give ultimate another go. <laughs> uh, Eddie O2 says, yay, Pez coming soon. Yeah, yes, absolutely, mate, with Eddie O2 Mendy in there for sure. So I think you're a right back on there. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Or maybe you're a right mid. I think I think I made you a right mid, actually, Eddie O2. What's your actual preferred position? Griffo Chess says, any campaign in half for Pez. I stand with him on that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do NBA draft, <laughs> says Eddie United. The strong man says, buy a decent striker pig band. You can get Rashford for 5k. Yeah, but you know what? You know what, though? Igalo's better, mate. This this man, this this one is better. I'm not even being funny. We had Rashford. This guy, look at his stats for me. I've only played online against other people, right? Look at his stats. 30, 35 games, 30 goals. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. Is that... I don't know. Yeah, 32 goals in... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, pretty damn good stats and a bunch of assists. He's actually a beast, man. He actually plays to my levels much better than Rashford on this game for me. But I hear you, though. Eddie says, I can play right... Mid and right back, Pigo. So I think Otamendi might be all right. Okay, spot on, mate. Spot on. Let's do it. Let's do that then. Right then, guys. Let's play FUT Draft. Then we might actually have a chance at battering up some fools. 
We can do it, everyone. Online draft. Let's let's go for it. We've got to pay the entry fee. 15,000 coins. Let's hope we get that back. Right then, guys. Let, let me... Um, we haven't got one of my favourite formations come out. You're gonna, you guys are going to have to help me decide. I think that one. I think 4-3-3 four, four, three, three attack... Is very good because you've got the two sort of central midfielders there. And you've got an attacking player in behind the striker and the wingers. 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one's kind of cool, actually. That looks pretty damn defensively good. 4-3-1-2, I don't like it because you've got no wingers. 4-3-3 four, three, three holding, you know, I, I'd be, I'd live with that. So, guys, have a little vote out of 4-3-3 four, three, three holding, 4-1-4-1, four, one, four, one, and 4-3-3, four, three, three, guys. What do you think we should go for? Uh, Mr. NLWT says 433 which one the 433 attack or the 433 holding um fergie 99 says i've been playing nba 2k20 it's decent fair play yeah i need to have a look at that actually i used to love the nba games when i was a kid and stuff playing them 4141 says the strongman steve um michael collins says 32221 <laughs> oh dear is that is that that one? Oh no three well it could could be uh, Eddie O2 says MB2, NBA 2K20 would be cool to watch too. Yeah, I'm going to do all sorts of stuff on my gaming channel. That sounds like a lot of fun actually playing the uh, NBA 2K20. Okay, 4333, three, three. attack, holding, attack, attack. Right, okay, attack it is. 433 three, attack. That's what we're going for, everybody. Come on then, let's see who we get at the start then. We've got to go with Garincha, don't we? Screw Messi. At the end of the day, Messi is... That's a great player to pick, but we've got to go with Garincha. He's better, and he's an icon, and he'll, he'll, he'll match up with anyone. So, I'm sorry. I know some of you might be going Messi, 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 but no. We're getting Garincha in this one. What do you reckon, guys? I'm going for it. <laughs> sorry, I've put my foot down there. We've got Garincha. Screw Lionel, man. I don't even like Lionel on this game. He's too bloody small and weak. Yeah, nice one, WJ Davies. That's a good one, by the way. He, he's actually better than all of the players we got in our last one. Yes, Gaz Elliott, he says, do you have Facebook? I think the link's in the description to that one as well. But yeah, check out the Facebook page, guys. Chuck a like on it. It's called Flying Pig United, Man United News. Check it out. Um, right, okay, here we go. Then let's get the striker, Alex Texiera, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Do you know what? It's the ultimate scream, Zlatan. I think we might have to go with Zlatan. I mean, I just bloody love Zlatan on this game. He's such a tank. I mean, I actually haven't played with this version of Zlatan, but he's just such a bloody tank. But then what about this guy with the 98 pace, Alex Texiera? It kind of has to be him, even though Zlatan's just tanky as you like. Six foot five, five-star skill moves. Alex Texiera's just rapid, man. He's got 98 pace, though. What? Yeah, Griffo says you can never go against an icon. <laughs> Ryan Burbersman says, Garincha stole Christmas. I like that one. That's a good one. Zlatan says, Mikayu. Pig, what's your real full name? <laughs> Too much information there, Don Pigliani. My name's Joe. Uh, the strong man Steve says, that Zlatan card is godlike, dude. I mean, it does look godlike. It does look very godlike. I'm not going to lie. But look at that Alex Texiera card. That looks godlike too. Alex Texiera says, WJ Davies. Steve Johnson with a super chat says, need more N Liverpool players. We are going to avoid them like the plague, Steve Johnson. DJ Disco Davies says, I've seen someone get a 99 Maradona on this pig. He's in there. Fair play. Giannis Varaklas. Hey, Kali Spera. Kali Nikta, my friend. He says, hi, man from Greece. How are you doing, Giannis? Good to see you. What's up? We're just playing some FUT draft again, my friend. Right, okay. I can't decide. This beastly Zatan ultimate stream scream. Or Alex Texiera. <clears throat> Zlatan's finishing is better. Let's just go with Zlatan. It is Zlatan at the end of the day. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Even though it might not be. Oh, look at that. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. In form. Or John Barnes, man. John Barnes icon. I mean, screw Neymar. He's just not even getting a look in. But look, John Barnes is iconic. And he fits in you know, with the, with the team better because he is an icon. JP says John Barnes. Man, this is a tough one, though, because Ronaldo's Ronaldo at the end of the day. Oh, Jonathan says Ronaldo. Fergie99 says, yes, Latan. Don Piglioni says Ronaldo. WJ Davies says Barnes. I'm very torn on this one as well. I mean, look at the stats on them. They're both fantastic. It doesn't really make a difference who we choose, really. Uh, Eddie O2 says, get John Barnes, man. He's the best ever. He is a freaking awesome player, to be fair. 
um, oh, Steve Johnson with a $5 super chat. He says, John Barnes. Oh, crikey. Well, seeing if you've put $5 down, John, um, Steve, we're going to have to go with him. You know? <laughs> so we're going with John Barnes then. Man, I never thought I'd step over Cristiano Ronaldo like that. But we have done. We've got John Barnes in the side. Um, C-A-N then. Let's go with the old C-A-M and see who we can get here. <laughs> oh, my days. That's not very good. Well, that's obviously going to have to be Santi Cazorla, but it doesn't really help us out. Oh, oh nice. Oh, no. We're going to have to choose Steven Gerrard. We're having to choose Steven Gerrard. It's sickening, man. But there's no way we can justify choosing any other player. Oscar doesn't fit in with anything, even though he's obviously... If Oscar was, you know, had the chemistry to fit in the team, I would choose Oscar. I would choose Oscar, but I'm sorry, guys. We're choosing Steven Gerrard because he's an icon. Sorry. It's sickening, I know. But look, you've got that. We've got two Liverpool players down the left. What's going on? Two Liverpool players down the left. Unbelievable. That is atrocious. <laughs> but we've had to do it. Okay, next CN then. Ugh. Oh. Modric or Cruz, yeah, I mean, it's got to be Modders, doesn't it? 90 rated. Uh, links up with Santi Cazorla there, so it's not too bad. So I guess we're going to sort of go La Liga-centric here. And we would put Steven Gerrard in the middle just to link everybody up so everybody's got perfect chemistry at the moment. Anyway, let's go with the left back. Nacho Monreal, Alex Tellez. Uh, it's got to be Hernandez. He's just way better than everybody else. But he is in Serie A, which doesn't really help us out too much. And let's go centre-backs then, lads and lasses. Hey, thank you so much for that, by the way, Steve Johnson, mate. Uh, no, we're not walk They're always going to walk alone, Ruddy, unfortunately. Slippy G in the his house, says Eddie O2. Kelly Sparrow, my friend. Hey, no worries, Giannis, mate. Thank you very much to you two also. Uh, okay, centre-backs here then. PK, it's got to be Sergio Ramos. Seeing as we're going for that La Liga vibe, it's kind of got to be Sergio Ramos. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Sergio Ramos then. Next one, centre back. Come on, give us a good one. Nah, that's no good. That's no good. What leagues are these guys in? France, Germany, Italy. It doesn't really make the blindest bit of difference. We'll get Luis Felipe. Right back, give us a beast. Carlos Puyol. Well, you know, you, you, you know, it could have been worse. I mean, De Costa's obviously better, but Puyol's an icon, so he will match up with anyone. So we kind of have to just choose Puyol. It's only baby Puyol, though. <laughs> it's funny when you say baby Puyol. But that is the way that they talk about these baby icons. You know, the first icon, the lowest rated icon of a player is called a baby icon. So that's what I meant, baby Puyol. <laughs> Who have we got in goal then, everybody? Peter Schmeichel, son. Ah. Tostegen. It's got to be Tostegen, really, because he's got that whole La Liga vibe. Or Oblak, sorry. Oblak as well, Atletico Madrid. He can, uh, he can play. Yeah, it's got to be Oblak. Oblak or Tostegen or De Gea. I mean, that's the thing. But De Gea is not going to link up as well, even though he is Spanish, actually. So we will link up with... Let's just preview the selection and see who we've got at the back. Okay, so we haven't got another centre-back at the moment. So it's like De Gea might be spot on. What do you reckon, guys? Jonathan says, baby Puyol sucks. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good, then. McCabe says, Chiellini is Suarez food. That's true. He did bite him, didn't he? Uh, David De Gea says Ryan Burberspin. O Black says Ruddy can't game. O Black says Jonathan Gallagher. Um, yeah, we need a little vote. Keep them coming. David De Gea says McKay Kramer. O Black says Michael Collins. O Black says Adam Forbes. Okay, well, O Black's winning at the moment. And unless we get a couple more, O Black says Steve Johnson. Okay, we're going to go with O Black. He is the highest rated one there, to be fair. And he does link up with the, uh, with, with, with Ramos here and obviously the rest of the, the guys. So. So have a look at the rest of the subs and everyone. Let's get a good team. We got David De Gea as substitute anyway, so that's pretty cool. Next one. Oh, Aaron Wambasaka, the spider. It's got to be, hasn't it? Although, to be fair, like, we have got a different... We have got a different team. None of them in La Liga, though. So it doesn't really matter. It's It's got to be the spider, doesn't it? It has to be the spider. Uh, Ruben Diaz looks pretty damn sick, though, to be fair. And we, we are struggling in the centre-back department. We've got a 77 at the moment there. I, 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 I'm, I'm, t I'm wondering whether we should get Spider or Ruben Diaz. Let me know what you guys think. Once again, 
Uh, Spider Wan says Mikhail Creamer. JP says Aaron Wambasaka. Ryan Burbsman says Aaron Wambasaka. Jonathan Gallagher says Aaron Wambasaka. Bartron J says Walker. <laughs> Don Piglioni, Big God Bob, Kiss and Tell. Eddie Otu says Yes, Bissaka. Okay, fair enough. Well, we're, we're putting all our eggs in one basket, hoping that we get a good centre back at some point then. Because, you know, Ruben Diaz is available now and we're going to pass him up. We're going to pass up on him. So, right, okay, we're going for Aaron Wambasaka. It's the one we want anyway. He's the one that we want. He is the one for... Right, <laughs> get enough of that. We'll stick him in there. Puyol, baby Puyol's not getting a look in. Look at baby Puyol's defending compared to... Nah, nah, Aaron Wambasaka is ten times the player on this game as baby Puyol. Oh, no, and we haven't got a decent one. Well, we're going to have to go with Jimenez then, even though he's so not as good as some of these other players like Camara and Libold, uh, Leibold then we're going to have to go with Jimenez because he's the only La Liga centre-back at the moment. So, And it's a bit of a poor back line with, well, I don't know, in terms of this uh, FUT draft mode. Rui Costa, Renato Augusto, some good players on this one, you know, Morales. But really, we're going to have to just go for Rui Costa because he obviously does link up fantastic well with everybody else. Stick him in there like that. Spot on. <clears throat> right, we could do with a, a better centre-back and a better left-back as well. One that will actually fit into the side. So we'll just choose him, Ladero, real quick. Oh, and we've got Lionel Messi, 95. We've got Harry Kane. We've got Martinez. This guy's a bloody beast as well with his 99 pace, man. He's a scrimpston, though. He's tiny over at um, yeah, Atlanta United in the MLS. He's bloody good, though, isn't he? Look at this guy. 95 shooting, 99 pace. But Lionel Messi, I guess it's got to be Lionel Messi, doesn't it? We'd be stupid not to get Messi. WJ Davis says Martinez. Giannis Veraclis says Martinez. Oh, Eddie Otu says Messi. Jonathan Gallagher says Swap Costa and Slippy G. Giannis Veraclis says he is OP. So this Martinez, or this, but this Messi's Messi, isn't he? Thing is, we've got Garincha and John Barnes, so we kind of got to go for Martinez. Yeah, WJ Davis is getting Martinez. 99 pace, boom. Ryder Spire says Martinez. Meshi says Don Piglioni. Ruddy says Meshi. It's a difficult one. Very difficult one, but I think because of the striking situation that we're in. Like, let's just have another look. Yeah, we need, you know, Zlatan's a tank, but he's not a 94 rated 99 pace player. You know? So... Let's go with Martinez then. I, I see, it seems crazy. It seems crazy to um, to not have Ibra up front, and it seems crazy to not choose Messi. But we've already got Garincha. I'm going to go with Martinez. There you go. And we're going to use Zlatan Ibrahimovic ultimate scream as an impact substitute. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, just to uh, to cap it off then. Oh damn it! We needed like a proper good centre back or a left back. Hakimi is obviously a bit of a beast there, man. It's got to be Hakimi. Raheem Sterling, no. Bale it does play for Real Madrid, but we don't need him to pie. It's going to have to be Hakimi. Oh, shit, we already got Aaron Wambasaka. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Corona. Oh, no, we can't choose him. He's the highest rated player on there as well. Of course he is. Corona. Oh, he's another bloody right back. Silva, Chilean. Chilean centre back who plays in Chile. Ricardo, we've got we're too heavy on the right backs now. Uh, Icone, this looks pretty decent to be fair. Very quick. I mean, it's you know silver, I guess, because we're just lacking in centre backs. But it's Gash, man. Ooh, 98 rated Mane in there. His house, another Liverpool player. How can we not choose him though? Thomas Party there is another good shout. Guerrero, Rossi, you know. But, come on, you know, we can't choose anybody else other than the Mane, really. I know that's sickening. See you later on, John Barnes, you know. I'm sorry, but Mane's got to go in there. Really. Idrissi, and we've got Atal. Idrissi, I guess. We'll have to go, well, no, because we've already got a strong Grimaldo. Wait, what's our left-back situation looking like? The left-back situation is not good because we've got a French player in there who doesn't play in the uh, Spanish league. So maybe getting Grimaldo because he's Spanish 
makes a bit of sense because then he'd link up with Sergio Ramos at the very least. But then, you know, because we don't really need Idrissi or, or Etau, to be fair. So maybe just getting Grimaldo makes a bit of sense. The other guy's way better, though. That's the problem. Well, whatever. <laughs> anyway, we'll assess this in a moment. Gerard Moreno's just popped up again. Different version, though. An absolute beastly version. And I guess we've got to go for him. Jordi Alba. No, Jordi Alba's the man. Yeah, Jordi Alba. That solves our left-back position problem. Vertonghen's also a left back. We'll go with Jordi Alba, everybody. I think that makes a whole lot of sense. It's improved things. Last player then for our pick. Have we got a good one? Give us a good centre back. No, we have not. No, we have not. So, bit of a struggle here. Right, you, right guys, you decide who our last uh, person that we're choosing is then. Let us know who you think we should get. Royce, Coutinho, Bernardo Silva, Pooch, or Puck, or Gretzka. Let me know. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, I, I, I don't know. At least Barnes got the boots as DJ Disco Dave. Yeah, he was replaced with another Liverpool player, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Goretzka says ride the spiral. Coutinho says G-Wolf. Royce says Ryan Berberspin. Coutinho says Steve Johnson. Pooch, Gooch says JP. Goretzka, Coutinho, Goretzka. I think Coutinho's just won the vote, actually. So we'll just go with... Oh, no, he's an ex-Liverpool player. We're going with uh, Goretzka. <laughs> And then the manager, Oli Galasolchar, son. Well, we'll have to we'll have to go with Pep, won't we? Because he's Spanish, and you know, oh, uh, we've got to go with Ilico. His name's Ilico, like IP. Do you know what I mean? Ilico. No, no, no. I mean, what's the deal here? I think chemistry-wise, it would help us to have Pep Guardiola because we've got a lot of Spanish players. So there you go. I mean, it's sickening, in, but that's what we're gonna have to go for. Squad overall rating of 188. I don't know if that's good or not. It looks pretty decent. Uh, but let's have a look at the team then. Let's mix things around a little bit then. So just for chemistry purposes and stuff, how can we get the best out of this team? Really, what we have to do is we have to sort of have John Barnes starting the, the, the game because that will just improve the chemistry. Then we can bring Mane on, you know, later or halftime or just after kickoff, whenever. Uh, let's look at the rest of the team then. Nobody know other changes. Modric, Gerard, Gerard or Rui Costa has to go in the middle really to link up with everyone else. Wan Bissaka is just out on his own though. Yeah, maybe have Gerard. Oh no, hang on. Have Rui Costa. Yeah, yeah. Do it like this. Have Rui Costa. That's better. Yeah. And then Aaron Wan Bissaka gets a link up. So we've got a hundred percent chemistry there. We've got a ninety rated team. I think it's better than the last team we had, but we we do have a problem position, in my opinion, which is the centre-backs. It's very... Even though Sergio Ramos is good, I mean, these guys coming up against the best of the best, like these guys, I think we're going to struggle a little bit as centre-back. We've not done too well on the old centre-back department, I don't think. We do have Carlos Puyol, who we could just play, like, there. You know, he, he, he is a centre-back at the end of the day in real life. He's only 5'10", but... You know, in real life, he's obviously, you know... But no, we'll go with Jimenez. We'll go with Jimenez. But we could do that. <laughs> uh, and he just makes um, Aaron Wambasaka more comfortable as well. So, I don't know. It's not very good, though. Puyo at centre-back, says Giannis Velacris. Hey, hey, there you go. Same same shout. Bartron says Puyo at centre-back as well. So, let's have a look at Jimenez. 69. Well, Puyo was quicker as well. And if you actually look at the stats of defending, obviously Puyo is Puyo is better. How tall is Jimenez, though? Jimenez is 6'1", which I do like. But, yeah, I mean, maybe that makes sense. We'll try it out, then. We'll try it out and see if it works. Play Puyo 100%, says Sam Hopkins. How you doing, Sammy Hopkins, mate? Great to see you in here, too, lad. Hey, everybody who's tuning in, smash that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. Please do hit chuck a like on it and get involved in the live chat. If you haven't commented tonight yet, do get involved. I'd love to hear from you, so uh, please interact with me in the live chat. KMR Lee says, furlough FC. We have got a ton of Liverpool players in here, which I'm not too happy about. This guy, though, is just a tank, isn't he? Could we get away with playing this guy? Well, not really, because he just messes the chemistry up too much. But we'll have to have him on the bench. We'll put him on the bench instead of, you know, instead of Jimenez there. But yeah, that's the team then, everybody. That's what we're going to go for. And let's, let's see, watch us get knocked out in the first round. So we've gone for Martinez up top just because he's got the 99 pace. And we've also got Zlatan Ibrahimovic, ultimate scream on the, on the bench. 
Thank you, Eddie Otu. He says, just smashed a like, pig old boy. Thank you very much for that, Eddie Otu. Much appreciated, mate. Appreciate everyone who does throw a thumbs up on it. Right, let's play in the No For Racism kit here. Oh, hang on. Is that the away kit, though? That's terrible. Oh, oh no, that's the goalkeeper kit. I was going to say, sorry, I thought it was... I thought, like, that put them in the opponent... You know, anyway, it's fine. We're going to go with the Say No To Racism kit there. That looks like Robert Perez on the left, but it's not. <laughs> Who's that? It looks like Robert Perez, but it's not. Mm. So this guy's got Griezmann, Messi, Mbappe. He's got Gerrard. He's got, is that Raquel May in the middle? He's got Zidane. He's got Trent Alexander-Arnold. Oh, it's gone. But he's got a pretty damn good uh, team there. Thank you, Illy United. That is spot on. Thank you to everybody that's chucked a like on it. Legends. Um, Eddie Otu says, play Barnes and Mane. Forget they are playing for a scummy club. Think of Barnes as just an Englishman. Hey, I love John Barnes. So, you know, even though John... Oh, no, he's got the same kit. See, this is what I was worried about happening, man. Oh, no. Well, he's not got the same kit, but it's like a, it's a, it, it is another black kit, so it's very difficult to, you know. This is gash. This looks awful. How are we supposed to play like this? I'm playing this on a really small TV as well, so this is not, this is not good. This is not good viewing here. Oh, no. You see, this is going to happen a lot. We don't know who we're passing to, pretty much. Get the early goal here, and the other one will rage quit. I think that's the key. John Barnes, here he is. John Barnes cuts back in. John Barnes. John Barnes. <laughs> John Barnes, son. John Barnes right with the start with his first chance of the bloody game. Come on, John Barnes. Sick finish. In off the inside of the post. No messing from Johnny Barnes. And that actually looks like John Barnes, doesn't it? <laughs> that's a good John Barnes. You know, they should... They should put that much effort into all of them <laughs> come on get in there you beauty hopefully this guy will rage quit because these kits are terrible man they really are truly awful i don't even know who i'm passing to right now so sorry about the viewing of this guys i know this isn't good is it but that's what it's like john barnes on the ball again bossing it out he wants it back ah oh. This is terrible, these kits, man, really. <laughs> this is such a difficult game here. <laughs> Don't know who's who. Puyol mopping it up at the back. Steve Johnson with the Super Chat says, and that's why I love John Barnes. Fair play, John Barnes bossed it. We might have to put Marnie on at half time though, because he's just better. But I think John Barnes has just st staked his claim in the team for sure. Man, I really can't tell who's who. It's so annoying. This is frustrating as you like in every single aspect. Like, who's who? You can sort of tell, but it's not easy. Thank you for that, Steve Johnson. Getting those super chats out tonight, son. Nice one. Giannis Varaklis says, Mane, stay at the bench for the rest of your life. He's not a fan. Not a fan of Liverpool players on this game. But John Barnes is a Liverpool player also, so it's like replacing one for the other. <laughs> oh, dear. They've done us there. Not good. John Barnes, get back, John. Go on, John Barnes. John Barnes! Look at that from John Barnes, man. Defensively bossing it too. Johnny Barnes. Johnny Barnes. Rainbow flick from Johnny Barnes. Sorry about these kits, guys. This is awful viewing. I apologize. We'll, we'll sort this out in the next one. We won't use this kit because I think it's going to cause a few problems today. Um on the FUT draft, so we're not going to do that. But it's a nice idea anyway. Oh. Don't you just hate it when you get, when that happens though, you get drawn up against somebody with too similar kit to you. And you just can't see what's going on. I hate that. Whoa, oh, he's done us, he's done us, because it was just, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a minefield of crap in there. Who's to say who was who? It's hard, to, it's too hard to tell. It was a minefield of crap. And Steven Gerrard, buddy, scored against us, man. Oh. Look at these kits, they're awful. Oh. At least I've got that excuse when I play a wayward pass now, though. 
Just blame it on the kits. Nice. Just happened to go to the right person there. And another one. And another one. Finish it off, son. Oh, no. Hit the upright there. What a melter. Just needed to put that one away, man. Shocking effort. Well, it wasn't a shocking effort, but it was just too, too much on it. Unnecessary. <clears throat> uh. Back to keeps, right? Yeah, I can't really see what's going on. We'll try and do the best we can. This looks like a mirror match in Mortal Kombat since the Ruddy Can't Game. Yes, mate, it does. Hey, first class gamer in the house. How you doing, matey? Good to see you, pal. How you have you been? First class gamer. What's going on? The Cineman. Here we go down the right. Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, just to let you guys know who are tuning in now. Hey, Stefan Harringtonio, how you doing? We've decided to play a bit of FUT Draft tonight again because we, we've started playing the career mode. And uh, we just had a, night, a total nightmare. And we lost 7-0 to Sheffield United. We are on, we were playing on ultimate mode, right? Okay, we keep saying that because it's true. And it is gash, but at the end of the day, we still lost 7-0. I just can't be doing with it. So we, we've come on to beat some real players, some real fools online. Smash up some real fools. That's what I like to do. When I can see who the real fools are and who the pigs, the pigs team is, then that's what is I like to do. But not this. This is shocking. This is shocking with the wrong kits. Oh, no. I mean, it's a minefield of shit. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get let's get it together. I can sort of see John Barnes over on the left side there. Oh, no. Should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> oh, no, no. He's done us, but the goalkeeper's done very well. O'Black comes out and stops him right away. John Barnes is away. John Barnes is away. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, John Barnes couldn't get the better the right back there. Good ball over from him, and it's a good goal. He's done me. Ah, oh, Scheisenheimer's ghost. Look at that. It's a great header, man. Steven Gerrard again. From outside the area, curling the header in from out underneath the crossbar. No. Right, come on. Let's fix this. Let's fix this. Let's fix this. Come on, boys. Here we go. Aaron Wambasaka, lad. We're not going out like this. We never do. We never do. We always come back, guys. This is like Fergie's United. You know, when we've got the pressure of the Bacon Brigade on me. Not just the pressure, but the support of the Bacon Brigade on me. We always deliver. They call me the freaking milkman because we always deliver, lads and lasses. Bloody hell, boys. <laughs> That's a little bit dodgy there. Hello, Dave, says Stefan Harringtonio. Eddie Ochi says, unlucky, Pigo. The kits have killed it. Yeah, the kits have had a double daymare here, to be perfectly honest. Like, not good. The kits have been a calamity. Okay, John Barnes has been great, but we're going to try Mane out then because he's just a higher rated player. Simple as that. There you go. John Barnes has done good, but let's try Mane out. He might cause him a few problems. We have got so much pace up top there now. We just need to play those through balls in behind and get in there. Kazi, Kazi AM says, why do you keep torturing yourself on Ultimate Difficulty P? I don't know. I, I'm a sadist, my friend. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, well, no, we haven't. We've changed. We're, now we're playing on... Uh, oh, you mean this game? Oh, is that a joke? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're playing against a real person now. We did play on Ultimate at the start and we yeah we'll, we'll get i don't know what we're gonna do with the career mode we'll see we'll see see how it goes <laughs> oh come on lads come on lads that's not the way to do it good challenge good challenge go then boys go then boys i can't tell who is who i cannot tell who is who going forward though my eyes don't work that well Ah. Oh. Is that, is that EA's idea of saying no to racism, is it? Um, you know, just simply um, 
make it so you literally cannot tell who is who. <laughs> it sort of worked, you know. You can't, you can't be racist with uh, with these kits on, can you? It's like you can't tell who the bloody hell is who. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, yes, good challenge. We've got it away there. Dodgy stuff. Ruddy has silenced Sam, I could see there. What, Sam, what have you said? Hold on. Oh, goalkeeper's got it right. Oh, right, yeah, no spamming. Yeah, you've just got a little cheeky little timeout. Uh, no spamming in the live chat, everybody. Ice Queen Gaming, how are you? Dawn, what's going on with you, Dawn? Good to see you. Thanks very much for stopping by. I hope you've had a good day. How's your day been? Have you keeping well? Oh, and it's just wide of the goal there. Could have put the game to bed against us there. Stefan says, write a book of poetry during lockdown, Nicola. Take a, take a bye break for a bit now. Thank you for, you for asking. Oh, you've been writing poetry, have you, Stefan? Fair play to you. That's awesome. Some lockdown poetry. Mrs. P says, you've got great eyesight, Mr. P. And the O2 says, hello, well, Pigo. Come on then, Lantern Lasses. Let's do this. We've only got half an hour left. Oh, no. Nice. 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 This looks good. This looks good. Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, no. Mane. Go on then, Mane. Let's see what you're made of with your 99 pace and all that. Go on then, Mane. Let's see what you can do, Mane. Let's see you put that perfect ball into the back post. Yes, get in there. Come on, we'll take that all day long. Have some of that, men. This guy's team name's men, I don't know. Garincha finishing it off. Come on, never say die, lads and lasses. We're back in it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Garincha, you beast, finishing off that, that very nicely. Mikayu says, great goal. Thank you very much for that one, Mikayu, lad. Garincha finishing it off, son. Bossing it. We'll make some subs in about five minutes' time. But back in this one. Oh, United, we love you. We love United, we do. Hang on. Hang on. Nah, mate. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, mate, you ain't having it. You're offside. The mug's offside. <laughs> right, the sporus is Corona cough. They, that's a filthy cough. That's just a straight-up smoker's cough. A straight-up, dirty, tar-filled smoker's cough. That's what that was, mate. No doubt about it. <laughs> you know, maybe throw in a little bit of melt fever in just for good, just for good measure. Go on, give it to Mane. He knows what he's doing. Sadio! Sado! Ah... Sorry, I shouldn't be saying that, should I? Like, saying nice, like, saying Sado, like, affe affectionately. It just doesn't seem right. It's wrong. Good bit of attack in there, and he's done me. He's done me. Oh! Very close, but he's not done me good enough. And now we've got space in the middle just to get things going once again here. Oh, we've given it away. Shocker. Nah. Good bit of play by Aaron Wambasaka, the spider, the spider, the spider, looking for Mane, but it's scuppered out there. Back to keeps. And we'll make some substitutions at the next available opportunity here. He's off. Oh, no. Sorry. See, I thought thought that was his player, but it was actually my player. He just had his shirt. You know, as long as the white side of the shirt is uh, is round the, certain, the right way, I can figure out who is who. But if that's not the case, then I can't really. But that's a perfectly timed pass. And we're going to chip it over. Oh. Right. Okay. Let's make some changes then, guys. I think it's Zlatan Ibrahimovic time. Let's bring Zlatan on then for Martinez. Martinez not had the most effective of games up there. So let's try the physical Zlatan. Um... Let's also stick on silver for Puyol just for the last part of the game. Maybe not the right thing to do, but we'll see. We don't really have any other good subs on there. Hakimi's going to come on for Wambasaka. Oh, we're out of substitutions anyway. Okay, then. <clears throat> first class gamer says, yeah, I'm a bit better today. Have you been ill? Have you first class gamer? That is not good. He says, been dying on Red Dead and in real life. Oh, no. 
Crikey, well, you need to get moonshine down your son in real life and on the game. <laughs> no, it's probably not a good idea. I have had some genuine moonshine actually once when I went to like America. And uh, yeah, it was pretty freaking, it knocked me for six. Um, moonshine, got me some moonshine, Billy Bob. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, yes, yes. Go on, son. Yes, yeah, send him, ref. That's a disgrace right in front of you. Don't bottle it, ref. It's a disgrace, ref. Send him, ref. Go on. Ah, oh, yellow card, ref. You've bottled it, referee. Oh, come on. What rubbish kits, man. Totally destroyed this game. Totally destroyed this game. I mean, it's not... It's, to be fair, it's still 2-2. It's not really... It's the same for everybody at the end of the day, but it is not great. Oh, what is that? Great ball by Aaron Wambasaka. Look at that. We're in behind. We're straight in behind. Who, who is who? I can't tell who's who, though. Oh, man. I thought I was onto that, but it wasn't my player. Hey, first class game with a super chat. Nice one, mate. He says, happy birthday, Mrs. P. Have a white wine spritz on me. That's very, very kind of you, first class gamer, man. Very, very nice, mate. Yeah, the missus' birthday. Happy birthday once again to the missus, the lover, the life, etc. Um, the kindred spirit, the soulmate, whatever you want to call it. Happy birthday to the missus, the other half, the significant other, the better half, so they say. Happy birthday. <laughs> Right, come on, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. That's very nice of the cinema man there, giving you a, a cheeky little spritz. Very nice. Oh, that sounded wrong, didn't it? The cinema man giving you a cheeky spritz. That, 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 that sounds wrong. <laughs> oh, dear, it's funny. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There's time running out here. Come on, Constantinacione from Don Piglioni's boys. It's not Don Piglioni's boys, but whatever. We're going to pretend like it is. Don Piglioni's bambinos. They need us now more than ever. Here we go. Great pass. Garincha, Garincha, the Brazilian legend. Garincha, Garincha, Garincha. Inching it forward. Zlatan's in the middle. You always want to pass the ball into Zlatan because he's a beast in the air, man. Beast in the air. But not that time. It's too close to the goalkeeper. Oh, we've won it back. Look at that. I didn't even realise we had won it back. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Zlatan with great strength there from Zlats. Great strength from Zlats. Oh, man. Wrong person again. Shocker. Jordi Alba, get your head up and give it to Zlats. Oh. And I think we're going to have extra time with the first game. Not good at all. Not good at all. <laughs> Ruddy can't game with a super chat. He says, Mrs. P, get some Jack and Coke. That's so nice of you as well, Ruddy. Thank you to everybody that's uh, you know, super chatting in tonight and wish the missus a happy birthday. Very happy birthday to the missus. And that's very, very nice of you yet again. <laughs> JP says, Garincha with the one incher. <laughs> oh, that would be unfortunate if that was the case and it rhymed with Garincha, wouldn't it? All right, any who's Come on, let's smack them up. I'm having a lot of fun, by the way, now, guys. Like, I wasn't, I'm going to be honest, that ultimate mode, that career mode, on ultimate, anyway, it's just too hard, man. I'm going to have to hold my hands up and say, if Sheffield United are battering me 7 0, it's probably too hard, you know? So, so but whereas this is actually legit, I'm playing another human here. This is good. This is close, the close contest. Oh, Ryan Burberspin 9 with another super chat says, Happy birthday, Nicola. Well, thank you so much for that, Ryan Burbspin 9, on behalf of the missus. Very, very lovely of you. Thank you. Here we go. Garincha. Garincha, lad. Garincha, lad. Gary Incher. <laughs> That's his English name. If Garincha was born in England, he'd be called Gary Incher. <laughs> or Gary One Incher. I don't know. What do you reckon? Gary Incher. That is funny. Oh, great bit of play. Great bit of play through the middle. Space for days. Space for days. Finesse it. Ah. Oh. And now they look to counter once again. We're quite evenly matched, me and this guy. I don't know, it's cause, I don't know if it's because we can't. We both can't see what we're doing because the kits are awful. But whatever it was, you know. No worries, Sam. He says, I was being annoying. Uh, it happens, mate. Just, uh, you know, spamming-wise. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just keep it to a minimum there. 
Oh, yes. Good play. Good play. Back across. T too much on it. Mane, what the fuck? Sorry, but that was shocking from Mane there, man. Like, <sighs> should have just taken a touch, though. Anyway, I had lots of space. I had a bit of a mare. I tried to get too cool and volley it without having to. I think we're going to win this game. I feel like the longer this goes on, we're battering them a little bit here. What a pass that is. And another one to Mane, but it is cut out. Mane's looking for that run down the left. He's going to keep it in, is he? Yes, he is. Great, great bit of skill. Cuts back. Does the defender. Does the defender. Still got hold of it. Still got hold of it. Well done, boys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Crap, and we're exposed. We're wide open here. We're wide open here. We're wide open. Oh, hang on. That's me. <laughs> I thought it was him. Oh, look at that timed run. That's perfect. It's Garincha. 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 Garincha with the pass. Go on, Garincha. Back stick, Mane. Oh, the last person you wanted the back stick. What we wanted is Zlatan Ibrahimovic there. My days, this is a calamity. What a calamity of a game. Hey, Ryan Burberspin, that's so very, very nice of you, lad. Thank you for that as well. Bloody quality. Thank you to everybody who sent Super Chats in for the misses and myself tonight. Really appreciate all that. That's going to pay for the next Chinese takeaway. Etc. Etc. So that's classy. Oh no. Okay, come on then. I don't want penalties. We know how much we suck at penalties. Ruddy says Pig needs Nicholas PayPal in his description. Don't you worry. She'll. I'll make sure she gets it. <laughs> legends matty stallard hey matty stallard how are you mate and how is siren sister on this fine evening man ride the spiral says that's what i just ordered i know super sammy gamer very sorry to hear about your your mum being in hospital stefan says how long has gone in the game unfortunately i'm only the smartphone cannot see uh 115 minutes now my friend so sorry 105 minutes so there's 15 minutes left um so just the second half of extra time is left. Just kicked off now. So we've got the second half of extra time. 15 minutes of game time here. And this guy looks like he's just playing for penalties. He's just, what's he doing? Is he just meandering around the back now, waiting for me to surge forward so he can so he can try and capitalise on the counter, which is what he's done, but he's not done it well enough, I'm afraid. And now we're going to capitalise on the counter because that's what we do. That's what we do. And he's onside. Steven Gerrard's onside. He's onside. He's onside. Go on. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Penalty ref. Yes. Come on. Get off Berezi. Get off Berezi. Even though he's one of the greatest players of all time in that East Milan side with Maldini. You know. You, you, you shit, mate. <laughs> you shit. All right. Okay. Which way are we going then, lads and lasses? Sergio Ramos taking my penalties. Has he really got the best penalties on this? I suppose he's pretty good. Uh, let's just go with Garincha. Garincha. No messing bottom right. No messing bottom right. Yes, Garincha, lad. Come on. Get in there, my son. Get in. Come on. 3-2 in extra time. Leading after coming back from 2-1 down. Get in. Get in. <sighs> belief. It's all about belief, lads. And that's as I keep telling you. <laughs> Yes, Pigo Lad says Eddie O2. Eddie says, sorry to hear about your mum, Sammy. Yeah, absolutely. It's very, very sad. Hope she gets better soon, mate. Unknown Galaxy. How are you doing, Unknown Galaxy? He says, do you know Chelsea will probably be overpowered next year? It's fair to say. It's fair to say because they're going to be signing the likes of Werner and even talk about, um, who is it? Was it Lucas Digny or No, sorry, um, Chilwell. Uh, uh, you know, and some players. So, yeah, they're, they're definitely making some moves, Chelsea, in real life. And on the game, they're going to be overpowered as well, aren't they? I hear what you're saying. Look at that. Sado Mane. Mane, Mane, Mane. Oh, it's lovely. Zlatan? How did Zlatan... What? Zlatan was just bullied off the ball there. Are you joking me? Come on, Zlatan. Oh, no. Oh, no. Decent covering defensively, though. Though haven't given many opportunities, but he's done us. He's done us. Good save. Good save by O'Black. Come on. Jan O'Black makes the saving goal then. Come on. Corner. 
corner to this guy, though. Five minutes to go, and then we've won, and we are through to the next round on the FUT draft mode. But if we don't, look, it's good having Zlatan on the pitch just to defend corners. Look, here's Zlats. You ain't beating Zlats. Zlats wins it. Zlats wins it. And then we play it up. Oh, giving it back to them. Not what we need to do right now. Aaron Wambasaka, stand your ground, Aaron. Stand your ground. And we've put him right off, and he's gone for a crazy shot. He's melted. Trent Alexander-Arnold, you're a melter. Zlatan win the header, son. Come on, Zlats. Dealt with. Dealt with. Dealt with. Nice. That's it. That's the game done. And now we're just going to take it to the corner flag, I guess. Zlatan wants it, though. Zlatan's feeling tasty. Zlatan's just going to take it to the corner flag. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's the end of the game anyway, lads and lasses. We won. Get in there. We came back uh, and clutched a win out of the jaws of defeat. That's how we roll, lads and lasses, on this channel. I keep telling you, you know, we never give in. We never say die. And we always, and I mean always, come back. Stefan says, actually be odd to have league football in the summer. Yes, it will be, actually. It's going to be quite interesting to, 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 to have it, though, isn't it? Giannis Frackley says, have you seen Zlatan's stamina? No, I haven't. What stamina has he got on this then? Like 99 stamina on this beast, is it? What's he got? Zlatan Jabotin. Michael Collins says, Chonka adult man. Don't know what that means, but fair play to you. Get in there, my son. Get in there, my son. Get right in there, my son. We've done it. Beauty. What a beauty. 3-2 we won. So we won the first game. It's a tough game, actually. Actually, hopefully the next game isn't that tough, but it was probably down to the kits. Hey, thank you, Eddie O2 says, well done, Pigo, mate. Thank you very much. DJ Disco Dave says, great game, Pigo. I prefer this mode. Hey, man, I do too. It's legit against legit people, actually. And it is, it's more realistic, like the, the style of play. You know, it's not just fixed. Right, hang on. I'm just going to turn the, um, the the camera off quickly so I can have a cheeky little cigarello out of the window, lads and lasses. Um, let me just turn this off very quickly so I don't like smoking on there. But we're still playing. We're still on here. Guys, we're not going anywhere. Do us a favor. Smash us a like on it, everyone. Appreciate everyone who's tuning in. Smash us a thumbs up on it. If you're enjoying this stream, if you enjoy this series, please do show us by smashing a little cheeky like on the vid. <laughs> right, okay then, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get back into the draft. I'm going to have to speak quietly for a few minutes. I just realised it's late as well. I've got my window open there. But come on, my son, that was a good win. Hey, Eddie O2, great to see you in here tonight, pal. Thank you so much for getting involved. Absolute hero. You have a good evening. Thank you very much. Yeah, have a good rest up and a recharge, mate. See you on the next one, dude. Stay classy. We know that you will. Mr. NLWT says you might suit carrots in hair look. <laughs> Michael Connor says, Pig, you always read my most obscure, nonsensical comments. It's the best. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Unknown Galaxy says he's an overrated player in the back in such a from Leicester. Oh, I don't know. What's that? Fair play. Gaz Elliott says, you okay, Ellie? McKay says, Eddie O2, top man. Stay safe, bro. Absolutely. Eddie O2, hero. Okay, let's do this then. So we've got... Let's play another match. Let's get smack bang into playing another match. And that is our team right there. It's not terrible. I mean, the defense is a bit poor, but it didn't really cost us too much in the last game. So we'll just see what we do. And hopefully, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can get through this next game because then we actually get some decent rewards. Like the rewards are crap unless you get to like three or four wins. Oh, Eddie, that's not good. Says, just feel proper sick, Mark. Hope you feel better soon, Eddie. Sorry to hear you're not feeling. You're feeling a bit peaky or whatever. Um, but yeah, <laughs> first class gamer says, Eddie, not up the duff, are you? <laughs> Thanks, I'll pass this, Eddie. Well, yeah, I do hope you feel better soon, Eddie. She says, she says, no, I'm not pregnant. So you think? So you think? You know, Dante and Ellie obviously been stuck in. You know, there's been a lockdown situation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's our tactic then play john barnes for the first half and then um 
you know, when the tight legs are getting tired or second half, we bring on Mane, just absolutely rag him down the left with his pace. That's the idea anyway. You know when you just wake up with a song in your head? I've had this song in my head all day, man. And there's no real reason to it, but you know, I don't know, some of you probably know it. Creeping Death by Metallica. Creeping Death. It's a great tune. Oh no! Oh come on! Oh we've bloody done nil down already! Shit! I wasn't even concentrating, I was talking about my Creeping Death story. Shit! But anyway, I've had Creeping Death in my head all day, you know, just from the moment I woke up. How weird's that? That's weird, man. <laughs> Why do we always have to go down in games? Like, we do come back and usually win, but we always have to go down, don't we? It's ridiculous. We just take our eyes right off of the prize at the start of the game. A bit too much on that touch there, and we've given possession away. Good challenge by Puyo, man. Puyo pants. John Barnes down the left. Johnny Barnes. Johnny Barnes, the magic man. Here he goes. John Barnes. John Barnes. Oh, John Barnes. One touch too many, son. Trying to recreate that excellent goal that he scored for England against Brazil in the Maracana Stadium. Who remembers that? I wasn't alive. I don't think at the time, but I've seen it. It's a pretty epic goal. He just ran through all of Brazil's defence pretty much and scored. Probably like 1986 or somewhere around then. I don't know actually when it was. Oh, wrong pass. Shit. Wambasaka outdone. Nice try from him, but we blocked it. Steven Gerrard watches it down. Wins the header. Well done, Steven. Here we go then, Johnny Barnes, that Liverpool connection down the left is filth. Good pass, Steven Gerrard, cut back inside. Oh, oh, penalty. What happened? He's offside, oh man. Oh no. This guy's decent, man. This guy is actually decent. Offside. This guy's decent, though. He's playing some decent football, actually. <laughs> Big Cop Bob says, Creeping Mesh. I'm Creeping Mesh. <laughs> Great tune, by the way. If you've not heard that, it's freaking epic. It might not be your thing. Depends if you're into sort of old school sort of fresh metal. But, you know, pretty awesome tune, man. Ah. Good bit of defending there. Stood our ground well. End to end game so far. Oh, nice bit of play, but the finish too close to the keeper. Damn it, good pass out from the back. Read him well, Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba then, go on Jordi Alba, just take it Jordi Alba. Take it Jordi Alba, whip one in son. Poor, nobody attacking that ball at all in the centre there. Gashtastic man. Go on. Nice bit of play, John Barnes, John Barnes, son. Go on, Johnny Barnes. Go on, Johnny Barnes, lad. Yes, John Barnes. That's great play, John Barnes. Great play, John Barnes. Oh, what a, ta what a tackle. What a tackle there on us. Just when we were about to unleash the trigger, man. That was a great, great challenge.
Good challenge. Here we go then. Go on, son. John Barnes. John Barnes, lad. Time that pass. Time it. Oh. Now nah, we're settling in. We're settling in. We are just settling in here. This is good. Oh. Well done. Well done. Keep it alive. Here we go. Damn it. The spider. Aaron Wamba Saka, man. What a tank. Nice. Cost us through. He's done him. Costa. Lovely pass. Another one. He, he's offside, though, is he? No, he's not, is he? Yes, he is offside. Shit. Of course he is. Martinez, well offside. Proper intense game, this one. <laughs> this is intense. We're 1-0 we're down. That's not good. That's a good ball through as well. Shite. Very dodgy. Very dodgy. But we've got it back. We've got it back. And now we can counter. Now there's space to exploit here. Now we can counter. That's a good ball. Garincha. Great ball. No, it's not. It's a rubbish ball. What are you doing, Garincha? Ah. Oh. Good foul. What a foul. What a great foul. Hey, Buster Cherry, what's going on, man? How, how you doing? Busting out those cherries. Oh, weak pass. Weak pass. That's half time then, everybody. Well, apart from that, that goal that we conceded lacking the concentration at the start, we've not done too bad. But we are 1 0 down. Hey, Manchester Glory Gaming. He says, Hello, pick from Norway. Hey to you too, there, man. How are you doing? Hope you're all good. Bunch of legends getting in here tonight. Bunch of the usual legends. We've got Norway represented. We've got Canada represented. We've got the USA heavily represented. We've got the UK. Who else? Where else? We got? Have we got any Aussies in here tonight? Good day if we do. But we've got a whole bunch of continents represented right now. Ah. No, oh, come on. Where's the pace from you? Oh. No. We've conceded again. He's done us. Freaking Cristiano Ronaldo, man. Hey, shout out to Kefo Murphy from Ireland, mate. He says, Irish shout out. Super Sammy's in Scotland. It's in body Scotland, mate. Good, fucking great day to you, son. <laughs> Um, no offence with this Scottish accent that I do in the career mode either, mate, from time to time. But yeah, nice one. We've got Scotland, we've got um, Ireland. Have we got Wales represented? Gung, she's Welsh, but he's not in here at the moment. Shout out to Gung as if you're catching up on this later, mate. Ah, oh, that's weak football. Oh, it's weak stuff. Good challenge. Oh, weak pass out, man. Very bad. Bad defending. Aaron Wambasaka, though, with a great challenge. Hey, the Channel Islands as well. Shout out to you, man. Absolutely. What, Jersey and Guernsey, you mean? And those sorts of places. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Shout out to the Channel Islands, big time. Kill the Scouts is a bit of an offensive name there, mate, but shout out to you. <laughs> Never give up. Never give up until you're 3-0 down through melting. Through fucking melting. Until you're 3-0 down from melting. Ah. Oh. This guy's listening to me, by the way. He's laughing. <laughs> hey, mate, whoever you are, fair play to you. You've fucking done me here, mate. You've done me. 
You've bloody done me. But I'm going to do you, there's still time. Oh, come on, Gerard. You, no wonder you bloody num never won the Premier League, mate. You are literally useless. That's a bit, bit better from Gerard. Oh, oh, what? Are you serious? That's it. He's coming off the pitch. I'm making the change. Martinez, you are garbage. Zlatan would have banged that. Damn it, man. Oh, what is that? <laughs> yes, well done. Well done. Put it on a plate, son. He's on a plate. You've got a you've got referee. That's a disgrace. Great ball. Cut back. Whip it in. It's lovely. Finish it off, Gerard. You absolute, absolutely done it. Fair play to you. I was going to say you scouse melt, but you actually put it in there. Nice. Right, we're back in the game. Back in the game. That's it. Never say die. And he says, I think he may be Mark. It did sound a bit like it. <laughs> Hold on. Um, okay, we'll put Hakimi on for wan It's a bit of a bold move, but we'll do it. Marnie's coming on for Barnes. Zlatan's coming on for Martinez because he's been garbage. Thank you, Primot. Thank you, Giannis. Thank you, First Class Game. We've done it. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. There's still time to come back. Good finish by Gerard, that one, actually. Go on. Go on. Zlatan wants it. Zlatan wants it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, nice, nice. By the way, mate, if you can hear me, uh, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Fly and Pig United. You're live on here, smashing me up live on my own channel right now. Go on! Oh, referee, come on, it's a disgrace! Oh, fair play to you. Nice. Dodgy bit of defending, though. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, we got away with it. That is sloppy. That is sloppy stuff. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. But luck luckily, Puyol's there to mop up. Go on, Zlatan wants it. Zlatan wants it. You know Zlatan's a big game player. He wants it big time. He's going to curl it round. Oh, Zlatan, why are you so damn slow, mate? Because you're 40 years old or whatever. You were so slow to react. I pressed finish like a, a year ago, man. Well done, Marnie. Ah. Good challenge. Determined stuff. Determined stuff. Now nah, we're not having this. Zlatan through the middle. What the hell? Go on then, Zlats. Go on, Zlats. Time it. Are you offside? Are you on? Are you onside? Oh, man, that was close. Five minutes to go here to get two goals. I don't know. I don't know if we could do it. Go on then, Mane. Go on then, Mane. Go on then, Mane. Go on then, Mane. Yes, Mane, what a... Oh, man, that would have been a sick goal, but we've melted it. Oh. Jay says, come on, man, time is nearly up. Yeah, oh, yeah, we've, 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 we've bottled it big time. 
we bottled it. No. Oh, no. Just to add insult to injury, he's done us. It's a decent man. Fair play to you. Pogba. Pogba showing, him, showing us how it's done. Oh. Hey, man, good game. Fair play to you, mate. You, 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 you battered me. Good game, man. I heard you laughing there at some point. Fair play to you. You kept quiet all the other time, but, you know, good game. you done me. <laughs> oh. Right, okay, let me just get my face cam back on then, everybody. Bloody hell. Yeah, he did well, though, though. That was a decent game. Yeah, good game, says Giannis Miraculous. I can, accept, I can accept getting beaten by another human being, you know what I mean? Who just happened to have it go their way on the day. I can accept that, you know what I mean? Just happen to just get that rub of the green on the day, you know? I can accept that more. <laughs> hey, I'm back, guys. Thank you very much for, uh, for still tuning in tonight and watching this random sort of draft mode that we're doing. We're going to do another one now. We might as well. We're going to try and win it, everybody. Um... So, yeah, it cost us 15k to enter. We got, like, 1,500 back from each game. So, we're still 12k down. Now, in terms of rewards, we're probably not going to get very many good rewards tonight. First class game, it says rematch this guy. I would like to have done, but uh, unfortunately, um, he's he's on to the next round of the draft now. So, he's got a couple of games to play. He could win it. But, yeah, that was a bad loss. We got one win, though. Uh, jumbo gold pack, gold pack, gold pack. Isn't that better than what we got when we got three wins? I'm sure that's better than what we got when we got three wins. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we got a premium jumbo gold pack the other time. I don't know, but we got jack all from it anyway. But three packs here then, everybody. This could make it all worthwhile if we get some absolute sicken for our ultimate team. <laughs> not going to happen this time with Pazuelo, though. Pazuelo. Nah, that's not the key. He looks like Carlos Tevez' little brother. Um, doesn't he? Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. But anyway, rubbish pack there. Let's open this next pack. Hey, Kieran Bell, what's going on? He says, want to leather folk at FIFA? Always. Oh, what's this? Argentina and Go on, son. CM. Atlanta. Uh, what's this? Oh, Gomez. Fair enough. I mean, it's better than usual. <laughs> you know, it's better than usual. He's actually decent, but it doesn't really help us. I was hoping it was going to be a sick league, maybe a Messi or an Aguero or something, but no. Gomez it is. But we can sell him, so that's a bonus, man. That's We've made our money back pretty much. He's an 85-rated player, so that's good. Here's the Jumbo Gold Pack, everyone. Vinicius Jr. Go on, son. Give us something good. Go on. Yeah, yes, go on, Lionel, Lionel. Oh, don't give us the same player again. Oh, this is a joke. It's a joke. This game's a freaking joke, man. They're trolling me hard. They're freaking giving the old Trolldinio here. They've just given me the same twat twice. I mean, okay, 285, it's not bad, but you know this game's a fix, man. You know this game's just glitched out on me and given me the same bloody pack twice or something. Come on. When, how, come on. I mean, what's, what's that all about? This game's broken. I mean, come on, what's the odds of it? What's the odds of that? What are the odds of that? Shocking, man. All right, okay, now I like this FUT draft mode, man. It's good because even though if you've got a bit of a crap team, you can still be competitive because you get given a good team. So, yeah, I don't mind it. And we basically got everything back that we spent, so it's not the end of the world. Damn it, I've drunk all my Pepsi and I have to get a reload at some point. Right, let's choose the formation then, everybody. Come on, get involved in the comments here. Johnny Hinton says, could be twins. Hey, Johnny Hinton, what's going on, man? <coughs> Kieran Bell says, back-to-back -back Gomez. I know, double Gomez, says JP. Could be twins, says John Hinton. Double double bin man, says Michael Connors. That was shocking. Double, du literally twin Gomez's. Okay, what are we going for here then, guys? 3-5-2. Go the old Louis Van Gaal slash Oli Gunnar Solskjaer tactics. 4 2 2. 2. 4 2 2 2. No wingers. 3 1 2. 3 4 3. And 4 1 4 1. 
Right, okay, well, I'm gonna. I don't like the formations without proper wingers. So, what do you guys think here? 4 2 2 2 says Glenn, 4 2 2 2 says Etra Dems. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, wing and wise, it's not gonna be the best, though, is it? But I guess we'll just have to play some peeps there if we do get wingers on there. 4 2 2 2, then, guys. I mean, that is a decent formation. It's basically got wingers, but they're just not called wingers, they're called CAMs. 4 2 4 is the best, says Giannis Veraklis. We can't choose that one. Unfortunately, we've only got these five options we have to pick from, basically, on this FUT draft. 3-4-3, three, three, says Michael Collins. 3-4-3, three, three, says Harry Clover. 6-1-9, says JP. 6-1-9. Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Connor Graham, he says, I'm loyal pig. What's going on, Connor, man? Good to see you, mate. What's going on in Connor Grahamville? Um, right, okay, 3-4-3. Three, three. I'm going to make an executive decision. We're going 4 2 2 2. I think that's the best. Who's going to be coming out then? Raquel May, Juan Roman Raquel May, or Messi? Messi or Raquel May? Well, we don't have we don't have wingers. So Messi would have to be shoehorned in. So I think we're going to have to go with Raquel May. What do you guys think? One Argentinian legend or another? Raquel May or Messi? Raquel May or Messi, guys? Get commenting in the live chat and let me know who you think we should get. Messi says Michael Collins. Messi says Giannis Varaklas. Um, G Wolf United says Raquel May. Primot Sofsky is here. Eddie says bye, Primot. Bye to you, Primot. Thanks for being a bloody legend and getting in here. As always, have a great evening, Primot. The Primo. The Don Primo, mate. <laughs> Stay classy, Primot. Uh, JP says Trump brushes his hair with a sausage. <coughs> Jonathan Gallagher says the most defensive one. Right, well, that would be Messi, I suppose. Raquel says first class gamer. I guess he's thinking of Raquel May there. Raquel May says Harry Clover. Um, Raquel May says JW92. DJ Disco Day says Messi. Haven't got a definitive answer. <laughs> Imagine if you got five Gomez says JP. I'll tell you what, if we get Gomez after we've done this FUT draft, I'll be pissed off. Right, okay, I've just got to decide. Raquel May or Messi. Messi or Raquel May. Raquel May or Messi. Messi, right, okay, I'm going to close my eyes. I'm just going to go between the two. Whichever one it lands on, we're going to go with. Okay, ready? Just going back and forward, left and right, 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 left and right. I'm going to stop soon. I'm going to stop now. And it's Lionel. Lionel Messi. Actually, no, hang on. Sorry, that doesn't work because... <laughs> that doesn't work. Sorry, how stupid is that? If, if the last one I press is right, then it's obviously going to be Lionel Messi. So I can't, I can't do it that way. Can you cycle through them? Oh, you can, right. You can cycle through them. Right, ready? Let's do it. Let's cycle through and choose one. Ready, 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 ready. We're going to stop. And it's Raquel May. There you go. Sorry, we let we let fate decide on that one. Uh, Raquel May stamina sucks, says Giannis Veracres. G will says Raquel May all day pick. We've got Raquel May in the end then. Okay, let's choose the rest of the side. The strikers. Couple of not so good ones there. Really not very good. I guess we'll go with the Argentinian who will link up. But he's an icon anyway, so everybody link up with him. But that's crap. Let's go to the next one. Should be a good one. Suarez, I guess it's got to be. The Toofy Chewer himself, Suarez. Ibrahimovic. But and we're going to go with Suarez because he's just better, isn't he? Let's go with Suarez then. C-A-M. <laughs> Bruno Fernandes? No, I'm joking. We've got to go. We've got to go with Zinedine Zidane. As much as I like Bruno Fernandes. We've got to go with Zinedine Zidane icon there. That is a class one to get. Sick one to get for this formation as well. Like, he's going to do some bitty bits out there. CDMs then, guys. Let's choose. Um, it's got to be Gattuso. Or Kante is a beast as well. They've all got shadows on. So, look, they've got the shadow card. So, they're all quicker and better defending anyway. I'm going with Gattuso then. So, we've got Gattuso icon. He's obviously fitting in there. That's a good one to get. Next one then. It's got to be Emmanuel Petit. There's no even real debate, is there? It's got to be Emmanuel Petit. To Petit's brother. No, we've got... Obviously, Kante's a beast, but we've got to go with Emmanuel Petit. This is a pretty good draft so far, apart from that striker there, but we'll probably get another beast at some point. WJ Davies says Gattuso. Oh, yeah. JP says Zidane, but Bruno's looking Gucci-licious. Giannis Varekter says difficult choice. It's got to be Zinedine, man. Conor Graham, exactly. He's got to be... It's got to be him, because he's just so much better. Um, than the Bruno card. But obviously, Bruno Fernandes is a tank. Left back then is not good. We'll have to go with Raguillon of Atletico Bilbao. And then centre-backs, we could do with a beast here, to be fair. It's going to have to be Sergio Ramos. 
So we're going with another sort of La Liga vibe at the moment, but we'll see how that progresses. We've got Suarez, we've got Sergio Ramos. This is pretty sick, though. With the icons we've got, it doesn't really matter. We can pretty much link anybody up. Oh, Sol Campbell as well, coming straight out there. Well, we experienced Sol Campbell at the back in one of the previous drafts we did, and he was damn good. So we go with Solly Campbell there. Right back then. Dumfries, this guy looks like a bloody tank, man. 97 pace. You what, mate? Um, and it doesn't really matter. You know, I would say get a Prem one, but we don't have any Prem players. Any of these play in La Liga? No, they don't. So I guess we'll just go with the highest rated one and the quickest one, which is Dumfries. Or Dumfries. Um, and then we'll go get the goalie. Nice. Well, it's an easy choice. Then we'll go straight with O'Black. Uh, Jan O'Black, obviously, in the La Liga as well. So links up with Sergio Ramos as well. So that's spot on. That's the team there. And then let's see what else we can do. That's pretty decent so far, though, I reckon. <laughs> Navas, Alisson. This is another goalkeeper choice here. And we'll just go with... This guy, it doesn't really matter. Ganashi, because it sounds like Gashi. We'll go with Gashi. Let's go with Gagashi. <coughs> uh, sub right back, sub centre back, sub left back, sub left back. We'll go with Mariano, just because he's the highest rated player again. Uh, do get involved in the comments when there's ones that I'm a little bit unsure of. Help me choose. Like this one. I mean, we've got Idrissa Gay. Um... Centre back for PSG. We've got Alex Tellez, left back. Kyle Walker, right back. Corona, right back. Munoz, right back. Well, we just got a spare right back. So I'd say either Idrissa Gay or Alex Tellez. Let's have a look at the selection. I mean, we might as well just get Alex Tellez, I guess, just as a backup left back to have, right? Oh, because he's better than the previous, than the left back we've got as well. So it's got to be Tellez, really. Yeah, Tellez. Giannis Varaklis says Tellez. Thank you very much. Yeah. We'll stick him in there. Put Campbell over there. Oh, no, it's not going to make a difference because the right back won't link up either. But we've got 100% chem right now. Casemiro's a good pick. Salvio looks pretty sweet as well. Um, but again, we don't have legit wingers in this formation, so it might not make sense. Dybala's a decent shout as well. Just Dybala, the CAM, probably perfect for this formation, actually, Dybala. Like, good all-round sort of offensive stats. Um, Casemiro's decent, but we've got Gattuso and Petit, so he's just not going to play. I think I'm leaning towards Dybala, guys. What do you reckon? I think Dybala makes a lot of sense. Gazali, it says, Pig, you ever had a bottle of Bucky, man? No, I've never had. Oh, Buckfast, says JP. Obviously, it's an obviously what? Oh, we're right. Okay, yeah, they don't they drink a lot of that in Scotland, up in Bonnie Scotland. They, they drink a bit of the Buckfast, mate. Um, but no, I've never drank that, my friend. <laughs> Kieran Bell says, what Connor asked. Fair play. Connor says, Ellie, you should get it. Oh, fair play. Well, I'll have a look out for it. All right, Dybala then, everybody. I think we're going to go for it. Giannis says, Salvio, because he's faster than Raquel, mate. He is, but I suppose you could have him at right mid there. But but we are playing, we're playing a different formation, aren't we? So chemistry-wise, it's not going to be ideal. Um, Yeah, I'll tell you what. He's higher rated, isn't he? He's, he's higher rated. So we're going to go for him. You convinced me, man. I didn't think you convinced me, but you convinced me. You know? <laughs> okay, next one then. Oh, Sunny Hyung Min's looking pretty tasty there. But again, no space for him in the side. Do we have a formation that is better than that? Visca right mid. I mean, Sun's got to be the man, really. But it's not ideal again. We're going for Sun. He's obviously the highest rated. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll just do that which isn't ideal, you know, something like that. I don't know. Probably not a good thing to do, but he is obviously a centre forward, so he can play up there in real life. Anyway, uh, Romelu Lukaku just for the bounce, man. Romelu just for the bounce. I mean, there's no... We've got Mertens. Who are the other players we've got who need to link it up to? No, we do actually need to choose a proper striker that could play. Mertens, maybe. Centre forward though. Lukaku. Ah, oh, mate. What do we do here? Coutinho. Hey, Prince Sharma. How you doing, Prince? He says, Mertens. Yeah, I'm leaning towards him. I mean, he, you know, he is the highest rated guy on there. Glenn says, get Sun as super sub. Good shout. Good shout. Gazzini says, it's nice at the start. The bottom of it tastes like pure ass. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> 
Uh, McKay says, for the love for the Bucky. Fair play, I've never tried Buckfast. I uh, might have to give it a go, but if it's anything like the old Rosie, I'm not interested, mate. Yeah, Mertens is the best of that bunch, says the strongman, Steve. Let's go for that, then. I'm going to have to check out your uh, career mode as well, strongman, Steve. Sorry, mate. Yeah, you've, you've said about it a few times. I need to go over there and check it out. Uh, Florenzi, right back. Ruben Pena, I guess... You know, just to link up with Ramos, just as a substitute, we'll go with Ruben Pena, I guess. <clears throat> oh, Lionel Messi, in form, in form Lionel. But look at Douglas Costa, the centre-back as well. He's pretty tanky. But no, we've got to go, you've got to go with Lionel Messi there. Di Maria, Alaba, Thiago. It's got to be Lionel Messi. There's not even a debate. So Lionel Messi it is. Um, and obviously he'll link up with... He'll link up with Suarez and get 10 chemistry. Even or not, well, he'll give Suarez 10 chemistry. I think maybe best thing would be to bring him on as a substitute after the game starts, actually. But yeah, Lionel Messi, that's a pretty decent one. Right then, Ricardo Pereira, David Silva, Guerrero. Who should we choose on this one then, guys? Let me know. What, just to give you an idea of who we've got left, we've got... We've actually got a pretty decent back line. Maybe the right back could do with linking up with Sergio Ramos, but there isn't one... This guy is obviously not going to link up. David Silva, CAM, don't really need him. Danny Olmo, don't really need him. Guerrero, don't really need him. It's just, just a pick of anybody, really. Olmo says ride the spiral. Silva says Steve Johnson. Um, Fogging out and I says you were offended, but I wasn't racist. Oh, no. Keep it, keep it classy, everybody. Keep it classy anyway. Keep it safe. We've got moderators for a reason, so, you know, don't go, don't. Don't bring any of that stuff into it. Glenn says, get Olmo. Ilya United says, Iranian copy, paste, messy, LOL. Prince Sharma says, Olmo. Okay, well, there's a couple of chance picks for Olmo, so we'll go with Olmo. Next one. Just, it's rubbish, isn't it? Just choose whoever. Let's go with Gunter. Let's go with Gunter, because it's just a funny name. Gunter. Thomas Party, Cristiano. Ronaldo, FUT shapeshifters. It's got to be Cristiano Ronaldo. What? Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi in the same team. Say what? I mean, it's not good for like chemistry, but they're just going to have to come off the bench for sure. And Ronaldo and Messi. This is a pretty sick team we've got on this one. Mane as well, <laughs> creeping in there at the end. Hazard as well. Hazard would link up. You know, with Suarez and stuff, but, you know, we'll go with Mane, I guess. Bloody hell. We've got some heck of a players in this one. We've not got the best formation, though. It's not a good formation. And then manager-wise, we've not done too well here either. None of them are in La Liga. Um, so just take your pick, basically. We'll just, we'll just do the old blind pick test again, right? We'll just let go in three, two, one. Marcus Leandro is the manager. So there's the draft summary. Some great players in there. Lots of good players. Team chemistry 97, team rating 91. 188 squad rating. Uh, Argentina, four players. La Liga, six players, five icons. I reckon we've done all right there, you know, but the formation's not ideal for us. But look, I'm thinking simply, what do you guys think we should do? I'm so confused as to what we should do now. So look, we've got the left back's fine. He's got 100% came because he's linking up with two icons. The right back is is not linking up 100%, but we don't really have anybody that can play instead, apart from this Brazilian lad, actually, Mariano, who, you know, is, is is you know, there's not much in it between who's better out of the two of them. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's got to play, doesn't he? But is he coming off the bench for who? For Suarez? You know what I mean? Phil Jones over Suarez is Josh Healy. Hey, Stephen United, how you doing, man? Team rating's 188, I think it said. Um... Seaman Altman, says Michael Collins. No, no Seaman Altman signed at all. That was hilarious. Where's Fellaini, says Buster Cherry. Petit swap with Gattuso. Oops. Why is that then? Just because one's right-footed and he's left-footed. I guess that does make sense, yeah. But it depends what you want, if you want them cutting in or what. But yeah, that makes sense. Um, Raquel May, low. Raquel May and... See, Raquel May's pretty important. You could put Ronaldo in there. It's going to mess up the chem. Um, Ronaldo's got to come off the bench, doesn't he? So Ronaldo comes off the bench at the start of the game. Sonny Young Min's doing all sorts of bitty bits as well on the bench there. Looking pretty sick. Uh, 
Mane's on the bench. Danny Olmo's on the bench here. Crikey. I mean, we've got a heck of a bench. The bench is insane. Um, JP says Kilt. Len says start Mertens up front and bring in Ronaldo and Messi for both of the strikers. Yeah, I hear you, but wouldn't that be less good Ken than having what we've got at the moment, or would that be better? I don't think it makes much of a difference. Six and seven. They've got six and seven now, which equals 13. And then if you put Messi on... They've got three and ten. So Suarez gets ten Ken to start with, which is kind of better, isn't it? I don't know. Messi's... Oh, I don't know. You might be right, though, because then Messi's going to start on better Ken, right? So bring Messi and Ronaldo on, off the bench, for Suarez and Mertens. Is that what you're suggesting? Mertens and Ronnie. Oh, right, yeah, that makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Mertens and Ronnie. Actually, that doesn't make as much sense. No, no, no. That doesn't make as much sense as the other one because it's not as much chemistry as Suarez and and Messi. So that doesn't make as much sense. Let's just go with let's just go with this. Hold on. Who's the best? So Argentinian. Ah. Uh, nah. Well. Zidane up here, right, or over on the right? So Raquel is obviously right foot. There's, you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll just, we'll just, I guess we'll just do the, 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 the messy, the messy thing, the messy thing, right? Is that the best thing to do? Roddy says Zidane in the middle. Yeah, I hear you, but we've got, we've got two CDMs here playing in the CDM position, so we can't really do that because he's a CAM and this is a, you know, four two 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 formation, so we can't really because it just mess it up. Um, Giannis says, I think you should put Messi in the starting 11. Space Madhud says, play. Yeah, sorry, taking my time about this one. Swap Ramos and Campbell might work. Oh, that did improve the chemistry a bit, actually, mate. Well done. You bossed it there. Sweet. Yeah, that improved it a bit, didn't it? Yeah, it improved it by one. Sweet, okay. So we're just going to do that anyway, and then we're going to bring Cristiano Ronaldo on, I guess. Although we could just do that. We'll just do that, because then they get more even chemistry to start with, and we'll just take them off. Whatever, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, then, guys, let's crack on. Sorry to keep you waiting here. Let's play the first game here of the new FUT draft. Do us a favor if you're tuning in, everybody, and smash that thumbs up button. Do leave a little cheeky like on it if you can. It would help out the channel tremendously. And also subscribe. I can see there's a couple of new people coming in tonight. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We've got the season coming up. Wednesday night, everybody, we're doing a watch along for the City Arsenal game. Friday, of course, it's Man United Spurs. There's going to be all sorts of stuff coming out on the channel. I'm looking to do a podcast with the likes of Cinnamon and Matty Lewis Wednesday. Uh, I need to talk to those guys. First Class Gamer. Uh, we're, we'll uh, get into touch with you very soon. And um, that, that, so, you know, that's coming. GDU Nathan Gamey says that's why the way Ramos links in with 100% chem. Sweet. Uh, Ryan Burbespin says there's no racism whatsoever. Don't throw the word around like confetti. Yeah, no, just, just, uh, just, you know, that's it. Absolutely. No room for racism, says Kieran Bell. Spot on. Anyway, there's no racism going on. <laughs> let's just do this. So uh, let's make the changes then. We'll have to bring them on. Mane is actually a 98. Like, technically, Mane's the best player we've got. So I can't kind of almost feel foolish not bringing Mane on, but because he's actually the best player we've got. But we'll bring him on for a bit later, um, and we'll play Ronaldo up top there with Messi. I guess that's what we've got to do. Simple as that, really. Messi's obviously left-footed. I'll tell you what, we're going to play them like that because Messi's left-footed. So I want him sort of coming in, arcing in, and I want Ronaldo to do the same, like finessing around the keeper. That's how I like to play more. So we're going to go with that. Um, so we'll bring those guys on, and then this is a pretty formidable team we got, if you actually look at it. It's a pretty sick team. In the United says 58 likes now, you buddy bunch of... Oh, hang on. Lost connection with opponent? You what, mate? What happened? That's not good. Hopefully that... We, we, we don't lose our 15k, do we? Nah, mate. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't do me like this. Oh, no, nice. We just get to play again. Good. I was going to say, if that kicks me out of that, I'd have been pissed right off. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Let's carry on then, everybody. 
Yeah, no threats. First class gamer says, yeah, no threats in here. Anyway, JP says, Collins, Connor says, how are you not being kicked? I don't know what's been going on, but these moderators are great moderators, to be fair. They like to give people a chance. And uh, obviously, if it's, it's, as long as anybody's not being racist or homophobic or anything straight off the bat, you know, but uh, we do like to try and we've got some cool moderators around here and like to give people a little bit of chance. But obviously, there's going to be no tolerance of any bs so just play nicely everybody but great to have you all in the chat obviously thank you to everybody that is in here um dj disco dave says he's seen your team and quit <laughs> yeah maybe he saw we were making some changes bringing on ronaldo and messi i don't know if you got to see that actually shame he didn't he probably would have really quit then opponent left the match he's melted again <laughs> yeah we've done all right with this team tonight it's actually a pretty decent team we've turned out <laughs> he said did you hear that break? He said, shut the fuck up. Some American. <laughs> that was bloody hilarious. Miss Daniel WTC. I don't know if you could hear that, but that was pretty That was pretty good. Who's that? Connor Graham says, no, he's attacking me for a stereotype. Oh, chill the hell out, everyone. <laughs> he says, Game and I have 200 wins, zero draws, zero losses. GDU Navy Gamer says, if they're so from a little town in Ireland and been one for fraud. I should probably turn that off, really, shouldn't I? How do you do that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, Fergie says, I heard that. Yeah, yeah, I've got it plumbed in there, you see, so you can't hear them. But actually, I probably should turn that off because somebody could say some outlandish stuff. And these are just random people we're coming up against. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Chibo says, a-hole, that American. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, he was obviously a bit annoyed by me, man. <laughs> Not a fan of the Fly at Big United channel, mate. He didn't want to play me. That's why. He didn't want me chatting the whole time while I was going to play him. <laughs> right, hang on. How would you do it, though? Let's see if there's some settings for that, because... If I go to, like, the game settings... Are you sure you want it? No. Uh, yes. Two six. Because I better uh, just check that because somebody could say some outlandish stuff, couldn't they, on there? And that would not be good. So let's go to uh, customize settings, online settings, would it be? Privacy settings? I don't know. We'll check that out. Organizations, these share use of data in game surveys. <laughs> Griffo says, I was away. What done with the chat? Giannis Veracta says, Do you know what is better than a burger? <laughs> what is better than a burger? Not many things. Maybe pizza, maybe an enchilada. I don't know. Right, okay, here we go. Matchmaking options. No, somebody tell me how you do it. You go to settings, game settings, uh, match, camera, visual rules, audio, menu, user, gameplay, customization, CPU, customization, match. Space Madude says, Space Madude says, bro, came to watch you playing. Yeah, hold on. I'm just trying to sort this out, mate. So they don't freaking do the, uh, so they, nobody says any crazy shit on here. But I don't know if there is actually a way to do it. So let's just see. Player indicator fade, time score, radar, opponent radar, color. Lockdown. This is all visual stuff, so that's not it. Rules, audio, menu, SFX, general audio, 11 aside audio, Volta football audio. Commentary name, sideline commentator, stadium ambience, general audio. Well, this is BS. Volta audio, user gameplay. All right, maybe there isn't a way to do it. <laughs> Sorry, Space Madude. dude. I'm taking my time here. <laughs> uh, right, maybe there isn't a way to do that anyway, which is a bit bit gash, but never mind. It'll be, <laughs> it might be funny, but it also might be bad. That's the problem. I don't want anybody to just say some horrible stuff about whatever, you know. Some crazy stuff. Fergie 99 says, I wanted you to play that guy. Yeah, he didn't want to play me, though. He didn't want to play me. He kept backing out. Giannis Veracli says, Burgers. Cass Elliott says, Ellie. LOL. What did Ellie say? <laughs> Chill. <laughs> right, okay, then. We'll just go with it. Are you sure you want to quit the game? No, I don't want to quit the game. Online play. Ultimate team, bro. Connor says, A can say horrible stuff, but A gets timed out. I don't know what that means. 
Oh, I could. <laughs> anyway, just, um, just yeah, whatever, you know. I'll, do, I'll let the moderators deal with all of that stuff. JP says, beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to go grab a drink, lads and lasses. Don't go anywhere. I'm just going to get a... Because I'm out of Pepsi and I'm starting to paste up here. I'm starting to get the paste, the dreaded pastes. So give us a minute and I'll be right back, you bloody bunch of legiondes. Don't go anywhere. Just give me one moment. big bottle of Pepsi on the floor. Now it's going to fizz all over me when I open it. Ah. All right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> no Pepsi spinach, luckily, but I just dropped it and, it, you know, it's going to explode in my face. Let's open it. <laughs> it was nothing. It was nothing. I don't know what I was panicking about. Just didn't want to not have my sweet Pepsi for a while, you know? Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fine. Also, I got these bad boys too. One of my personal favourites. The missus sent me a bloody brick the size of my head to my door of these with 13 packets of these in. Thank you very much, love. <laughs> I've got 13 packets of crispy rolls to get through right now. I'll probably get through the whole packet of these right now because they are just so damn good. Little bit of a food review for you now, lads and lasses. We're gonna just have a little cheeky Milky Way crispy roll. I think you know. Some I think they've made these thicker. You know, like they've made stuff smaller. I think they've made these thicker, man. Hmm. Let's play. <laughs> Mmm. These these are the shiznit, man. These are the shiznit right now, I'm telling you. Milky Way. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right, McKay, you sick present. Fogey99 says, mate, they are beautiful. Absolutely. And Michael Collins says, yeah, Eddie Connor will say mean things and make you cry. Be careful. <laughs> Crikey. JW92 says, you have one, you have all of them, mate. Let's, we're on to the second packet already. <laughs> you just have to have them, don't you? They're too nice. Mmm. I don't have the option on there, never mind. Um, okay, let's just get Ronaldo and Messi on anyway. Mm. 
and we're playing to lose SC. Let's see, to lose or not to lose, that is the question. Hmm. Nice bit of goalkeeping and we're on the counter-attack here. Time that run. Time it. No, good defending. He's judged it. I just want to put the ball out ready so Messi and Ronaldo come on at the same time. I don't know if that will work. We've got Messi and Ronaldo on there. Could it be another Gerard Frank Lampard situation? We never would know. I would always, I've always thought I'd love to see that. Just I don't know if it's possible. Oh, should have been. Got to take your chance there, really. No wonder you're being substituted off the pitch, son. Oh, Cristiano, so dangerous from those set-piece situations. Just came on and just had a very early chance. Oh, come on, lads. Ball whipped in. Dangerous stuff. Emmanuel Petit retrieves it. Keeps it alive. We ping one, but it's saved. Play on, says the referee. Zidane wins it, but they've pulled it back for a free kick to us, is it? Yes, Zidane, look at that monk haircut he's got, the full-on bald monk. We love that Zidane haircut, don't we? Look at that. Nutty man. Right, we're gonna ping one. We're gonna we're gonna knuckle puck one top bins. Get in! Get in there, Zinedine Zidane. What a free kick. We just happened to place that in exactly the right place and he couldn't stop it. Come on, Zinedine lad. We've scored a free kick. Zinedine Zidane, the bald monk. To celebrate, we're going to open up our third packet of Milky Way Crispy Rolls, just like that, everybody. Come on. <laughs> Get in, Ryan. <laughs> Zinedine, man. Classy. Classy from Zinedine, that. Good defended by Sol Campbell. They're mopping up like a beast. Oh, what was that, man? Go on, Petit. Make up for it. Oh, a bit dodgy there. He's got a good chance. He's got his way through there. Zidane Ineos is in a United. Hey, by the way, lads and lasses, the target for tonight is 75 likes. So if you're tuning in right now, please do hit a, a cheeky little like on it. That'd be awesome if you could. If you haven't done so, please do hit that like button. Um, in a United says, oh, what a galazzo. Get in there, Zinedine, man. Classy stuff from Zinedine. And we've got space down the left. He's offside, though, so we had to improvise. Alex Tellez keeps it alive. Zinedine Zidane gets his head up. He plays a cross in. Held down. Go on then, Messi. Oh, Lionel with a shot, but it is wide. We just needed to take it a little bit more. And uh, it looked like they got Ferenc Ribéry in goal, but it's not. <laughs> Near post, Ronaldo's always dangerous, but a little bit too close to the keeper on that time. Raquel May with a shot, and it's ooh, almost a galazzo from Raquel May, but just a little bit wide again. Mmm. 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 Mm. Well done, Sol Campbell, man. Crap. 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 Crap! Oh, good save, good save, good save. Right, come on then, lads. Go on, down the right, we have space. That's a great ball. Cristiano Ronaldo, can you get onto it? Ah. Oh, Ronaldo pressure in the keeper there, but he's got it away. Mmm, good challenge. 
Cristiano Ronaldo's through. Cristiano Ronaldo's through. He's through. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, man. Should have just gone around the keeper to the right, not the left. I've had a mare there. I just thought I'd go across the keeper, but no, nah, no, nah, you, you can't be. you got to be putting those away, really. Oh, Cristiano's lethal, but I just put it wide. Emmanuel Petit then driving forward through the centre. Gives it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Messi. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi wants to give it to Ronaldo. But, oh, we just took it too wide again. Shocking. We're battering this guy, though. I think he's going to rage quit now. I would rage quit if I was him. So, oh, my God. I've already eaten three of these. And I'm already opening my fourth. They're just they're too light and fluffy, man. They're too light and fluffy. Hey, Welsh Red, how you doing, Welsh Red, man? So that's it. We've got a representative from Wales in here then. So we've got Wales, we've got Ireland, we've got Scotland, we've got England, we've got the Channel Isles, Channel Islands. We've got all sorts of representation. Cristiano Ronaldo, son. Oh, what happened there? I pressed shoot literally two seconds ago. I have no idea how Ronaldo didn't shoot there. I don't get that. We literally had the opportunity. I was just about to shoot or I already had shot I mean <laughs> shocking man absolutely shocking it's all right we're winning though we're, we're, we're winning this guy's got to come back at us and to be fair we're controlling this game and this guy loves techno to be fair to him and I don't mind a bit of techno actually this guy's a techno lover he loves the techno yeah Cristiano Ronaldo looking for that run of Messi. There's Lionel. Oh, Lionel almost getting through, but just not. Oh, he's won it back, though, Lionel Messi. Great little bit of harrying and hassling from Lionel, but he's lost out this time. Emmanuel Petit has been done as well. Sol Campbell's going to mop that up like a janitor that he is. Bossed it. Ronaldo wants it. Of course he does. Oh, he's giving it away. It's nice having Ronaldo up there. It is. He's just such a tank, and I'm used to playing with him because I played with him on my career mode. I know he's like a souped-up version of Ronaldo, but still. Just this style and stuff is awesome. Here he is, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano. Uh, he's been out-muscled, but he's won it back. He's going to put it back across the goal, but that's a weak pass, man. Should have just gone for the shot as well. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not judging it properly tonight. Making a few misjudgments and silly, stupid errors, but whatever. We'll smash up some fools regardless. 1-0 up in this game. Here he comes, Techno Lover. Techno, 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 says Gas Elliot. <laughs> Super Sammy Gamer, how you doing again, Super Sammy? What's going on? Oh, nice bit of play from us there, but his keeper's just made the save. But nice bit of play. We had him in all sorts of trouble. Ronaldo with a chance near post. Tries to get across the defender, but he cannot. And out they come from the back. Oh, no, we've been done there. Techno lover. Techno lover. Watch out for the techno lover. Here he comes, Saul Campbell. He's going to have to commit. He's going to have to commit. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, lovely bit of defending. Come on, get in. And we're straight out as well on the counter. Straight out on the counter. Lovely ball, Messi. Oh, come on, Lionel. Rubbish. Well won back. Come on then, boys. Nice bit of play that was, but was lagging a little bit on the game. 
Lovely bit of play around Roman Raquel to the back post where Ronaldo's waiting for it. Shocking pass, man. <laughs> Here we go, Cristiano Ronaldo from distance as a shot, but it is saved again. Ronaldo puts it to bed. 2-0, Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, the guy's just a tank. Uh, it, there's nobody better on this game for me at that near post run and header. You know, you've seen him dangerous already in a few games this um, this this stream. That's the whole packet, by the way. This is the last one. That's how damn easy to eat these things are. Hmm? What's happened in the live chat, guys? I don't know what's happened. Somebody's been sacked off, have they? I'm sure it was it just I'm sure it was justified, so I trust the sinner. So <laughs> get in. 3-0. We've battered him. It's a battering. Ratface Bamiyang says, first time watching. I remember you from last time, mate. I seem to remember you from last time. Unless somebody's got the same name. I don't know. Nice one. First fair play, first class game at Manchester Glory Gamers is 30 in Norway today. Hot. Wow, really? That is really toasty, man. Not great in the UK at the moment. TK says, that chewing sound is so soothing, pig. Are you serious? Sorry. I, yeah, I'm very close to the microphone. I apologize for that. <laughs> it's gross when hearing people eat something. Some people like it, don't they? A bit of mukbang. Call it a bit of mukbang, don't they? Like a bit of mukbang action. Or a bit of ASMR. Yeah. Oh, crikey. Emmanuel's won it back for us, right? 3-0, this guy's not giving up, is he? We've dominated him at 3-0, and he's, he's just still going. Gattuso then gets us away. Cristiano Ronaldo down the left. We've got space. This looks good. Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine. 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 No. No good from Zinedine. <laughs> Mr. NLWT says the pig is always hot, mate. I am. I do get quite hot. Like right now, I'm not cold. Like it's been dreary, not that great weather, but it's still not cold. It's obviously June, so it's not that cold. But even if it's like 12, 13 degrees or whatever. It's a bit nippy if you're outside, but right now, you know, under the lights and stuff here, I'm sweating my titties off again. I'm, I'm warm. I'm definitely not cold right now. So you're right. Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, no. <coughs> I apologize. But, um, yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to the football coming back next week anyway. I'm going, I've been going stir crazy without football. I'm bloody loving it. I cannot wait. I'm going to be... Freaking, I don't know, jizzing all over the walls come Friday. Do you know what I mean? When the football is back. I cannot wait until the football is back. It's going to be epic. And even on Wednesday, Arsenal City, man. Bang, looking forward to that game. You know, that's going to be an interesting game, man. So it's going to be some great stuff. I'm going to be doing watch-alongs for all of them on the channel, everyone. So normal service will be resumed very shortly, um, which is, is great news. I've really enjoyed doing all these FIFA streams. I'm going to continue to do them all as well on the gaming channel. We're going to grow the gaming channel a little bit and, and focus on the gaming channel. Just doing gaming. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, good, good play, but one little touch too many. Ronaldo to Messi. You don't hear that too often, but here is Lionel Messi. Here is Lionel Messi. Here Lionel Messi goes. Let's see why he's one of the highest rated players on the game, if not the highest. Let's see why. Here he is, Lionel Messi, and he's put it too close to the keeper.
Lovely bit of play. Nice little team goal. And guess what? It's Lionel Messi who tucked that one away there. Cristiano Ronaldo coming out on top in this game so far with the most uh, victories. Um, I'm just pressing the start button so he bloody rage quits. But he's only got eight minutes left, so he might just finish the game. But I might as well make a couple of substitutions anyway. We'll just put Mane on for Messi for a laugh. Um, we'll put Sun on for Raquel May. And we'll stick Sun over there. Oh, we've already made our substitutions. Yeah, okay, fair enough. City 7 nil says City United. Ruddy Cunt Games says, don't count Arsenal out. I mean, I sort of am counting Arsenal out, but I know what you're saying. I mean, it would be a great little boost for them if they could beat City in that game, wouldn't it? It really would. I mean, that would give them a, maybe a bit of belief they could get top four, but or Champions League football to, with the top five or whatever if City aren't playing. But yeah, I don't think so. We'll see. <laughs> you never know. Hey, Sandeep Barra says, sorry, join late. Oh, we're on Ultimate Team now. Nice. Yeah, how you doing, Sandeep, mate? Yeah, I'm just doing a bit of Ultimate Team, man. Uh, FUT draft. So um, this is the first game, I think. Is this the first game or the second game of this one? It's the first game, isn't it? We just took ages to get going. But yeah, this is the second game. Sorry, the first game. And um, it's the second attempt at the FUT draft tonight. Last time we sacked off at the second round, which is not good. There's obviously four games to win, and then you win the maximum uh, amount of prizes. We did okay in the packs that we got, but again, it wasn't amazing. Emmanuel to T wins that one back. Gattuso. Time that run from Cristiano Ronaldo. There he is. Cut back inside. Finesse it around the keeper. It's just like that, everybody. And that was a sick goal. And a nice little finish for Cristiano Ronaldo there. Get in. I've absolutely mugged this guy right off. I feel bad for this guy. Sorry if you can hear me, mate. You might be able to hear me. I don't know. But if you can, sorry for battering you so bad, pal. Ronaldo with the finesse into the top bins puts this game to bed at 5 0. Come on. Ronaldo's bossed it today. He's actually been sick. Like, that was a good call bringing Messi and Ronaldo off the bench like that. Like, we've got a pretty sick team on this one. I think we can go all the way. I'm not going to lie. I think we could go all the way. Oh. Yes. Good goalkeeping to keep that. Uh, clean sheet intact. Whoa. Bad throw out. Petit wins it back straight away. Straight into him. Get in there, everybody. Come on. 5-0 we've done. And 5-0 against uh, Toulouse FC. Bacon Brigade FC there. Loving it, man. Jonathan Gallagher says, Ruddy, poor Arsenal playing Manchester. <laughs> Manchiti. Sorry. <laughs> Fergie 99 says, Hope City smash Arsenal. <laughs> Ryan Burberspin says Teeth got more gaps than Arsenal's defence <laughs> Michael Collins says Ruddy, any rumours of Arsenal buying a defender this summer? Seems like that would be the top position to improve Yeah, I think that's fair to say Thank you very much, Michael Collins He says, nice win uh, Prince Sharma says, nice good win Thank you very much Space Madude says uh, Okay, come on, second round Let's do this then Let's get straight into the second round, mate I hear you Let's, bat let's batter up the next guy Shout out to everybody tuning in. Bunch of heroes getting involved in the live chat. Thank you for uh, commenting and um, interacting with myself and each other. Giannis Veraktis says, you have to see the new Copper Sudamericana SBC player pick Romero. He has five weak foot and he is OP. He's an effing mini Ben Yedda. Fair play. I'll check him out, Giannis, mate. Nice shout. Nice shout indeed. Right, okay. Um, so there you go. We got through one round. Let's just get straight smack bang into the next one and see if we can recreate that pretty pretty good win there. Griffo says, decision on City regarding Europe ban coming in July. Once again, shout out to Griffo Chaz, man, for doing all that he's been doing with the website, the uh, the flyingpigunited.com website. Shout out to Griffo Chaz. Check out the website if you haven't yet, flyingpigunited.com, a new football and Man United news source. So check it out. You can also check out the Facebook page, Flying Pig United. Do chuck a like on it. And um, yeah, absolutely. Nice one for that, Griffo. Cinnamon says, welcome all new viewers. Absolutely welcome to all the new viewers out there. Thank you very much for stopping by. Do hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon if you haven't yet already to be notified when we do go live and we post on this channel and that good stuff. And also check out the gaming channel, Flying Pig Gaming, which we will be putting content on very, very soon. Oh, yeah. It's going to be 
PES content, FIFA content, general gaming content, some GTA content, all sorts of content coming. So check it out, Flying Pig Gaming. Right, here we go then. Let's do it. Down the right. This guy's paused it, so that's good, because otherwise I'd have forgotten that we had to change. So let's um, let's let's put Messi and Ronaldo back up there, playing on the other sides of each other. So we've got the left footer on the right and the right footer on the left. I like the look of this team, man. This team is tasty. We're going to go all the way. We're going to go all the way. Rosanna, yeah. Let's go all the way. <laughs> Who knows that song? That's a good tune, man. Rosanna, yeah. <laughs> I don't know who sings it. My missus, if she's watching, she'll tell you who sings it, but I've forgotten who sings it. She likes that tune. Um, yeah, nice one. Mikhail says, Pig needs to do some classic Super Mario Bros. Mate, that's quite a good idea, isn't it? Doing some stuff like old retro gaming. Yeah, I do fancy that kind of thing, actually. There's going to be all sorts coming on the gaming channel, guys. Keep a lookout for it. Come on then, it's round two everybody, come on, the Baker Brigade, we can do this. It's all about the belief, it's all about believing we can win. And not, not, not even believing we win, expecting that we can win. Watch this, it's Lionel Messi, he's through. Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi. Oh, look at that, that is, oh, he's offside. Shit, I didn't even, I wasn't even really paying attention, I did. Crikey, I thought he was onside, but he must have been a country mile offside then. Fair enough. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, we've left ourselves exposed and Scamble's had a nightmare. No, oh no, no, no. Oh no, why every time, man, do we have to concede right at the start of the game? Shocking bit of defending as well. And Paul Pogba has scored against us. Paul Pogba with the goal. That's fine, it's fine. We're coming back into this one. <laughs> Petit loses out. That was that was all about Sol Campbell there. That was shocking defending from Sol, man. Tempted to take him off, you know. But let's see if he can make up for it. Pogba's dispossessed this time. No, he's not. Campbell, what are you going to do? Campbell does get a challenge in, but it's not good enough. And this guy's a little tricky. He's feeling a little bit tricky. Not that tricky, though. You need to see me about Rainbow Flick Sunshine. Oh, no, he's done us, though. 2-0 at the near post. Rafa, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Oh, you know what, though? How many times have we come back during these uh, these games? How many times have we come back? A bunch. That's how many. So that's what we're going to do here. It's a game of two halves, and then we're only 12 minutes in. Oh, no. This is a melt job. Rafa's done us again. Good bit of goalkeeping by Oblak, but damn. Petit does a Frenchman. One Frenchman does another. Petit takes it off Paul Pogba. Here we go. Lionel Messi wants it. He's going to put it back inside to Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, too slow from the turn from Ronaldo there. Campbell's committed. Campbell's judged it well that time. Sloppy stuff from us at the start of this game here, man. Really not happy. Here we go. We're going to get back into it, though. And look at that. Messi's got a good chance. Lionel Messi. Oh, he's out-muscled. Should be quick as anything getting away from his defender there. But he's just been out-muscled off the ball. That is the thing about Messi. He doesn't have the strength, man. Oh, very sloppy defensively at the moment. Very poor. Just giving him chance after chance. Very sloppy defensively. What's happened here? No boys, no boys, no boys. Shocking defending. Steven Gerrard scoring against us, man. Like, who the hell? Who, who, who the hell have we got the back? You know what I mean? We've actually got a decent back line. You think we had the bloody, I don't know, like the Smurfs at the back or some, sh some shit. <clears throat> Bunch of bloody cartoon characters at the back. That's who we've got. Bloody Papa Smurf playing centre back. It's a joke. Who, who, whose idea was it to bloody let Papa Smurf play? Oh, oh, Papa Smurf. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Do one. We're, that's it. We've raged. Forget it. Down with it. This is bullshit. I'm not having that. No. He's beating us. Whatever. On to the next one. 
<laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Fair enough. He's done me there, though. 4-0, he's just battered me. What can I say? <sighs> Stressful evening of FIFA, man. Stressful evening of FIFA, man. Like, in terms of results. And we've got Tammy Abraham, the Champions League version, just to troll it a little bit. <sighs> right, let's see. <laughs> I am a little bit triggered now, Mikhail Kramer. I'm not going to lie. JW92 says, old pig. WD Davis says, good game. Mate, he done well there, to be fair. But it wasn't a good game for me at all, was it? And now I've eaten all my crispy rolls that I brought out with me. And I wish I brought another whole packet with me. Marques Sin scores. Papa Smurf says, Jonathan Gallagher. Mate, Papa Smurf just literally had a bloody Papa Mare all over the floor. I don't get what happened, man. We were just crumbling at the back. He was doing us. There's something, something wrong with our game at the back there. Come on, then. Let's get something decent here just to just to make it worthwhile. <laughs> troll fest. Lovren. Lovren's even got a troll face on the go in that picture. Do you know what I mean? He's literally like, trolling. I'm trolling. Right, guys. Well, you know, it's getting late. Um, how long have we been going for? Just over three hours. I think we can. I think we can do another. I think we can do another um, draft. What do you reckon? Should we do another draft? I mean, if we do actually win, then we're gonna. It's gonna take a long time to do. But screw it. I think we should do another draft. I can't go out on a piss poor loss like that. Who's with me? Who's staying tonight? Who's gonna carry on watching this stream? If you are, let me know in the live chat and I'll keep bloody playing if you are. Ruddy says, I can play some Dead Space. I've got all three games, but I think Bioshock is next. Fair play, Bioshock from Ruddy Can't Games channel there. Check it out, lads and lassies. I was watching his stream last night and, uh, you know, decent stuff. He's got the Elgato now, so go over there and check it out. Griffo says, Pig just packed the best defender in the world. <laughs> oh, man. Manchester Glory Gamer says, play, yeah, do another one, Pig, says Stephen, nice one, come on, let me finish me Bucky, says Mikhail Kramer, more melts, please, Pig, says JP, Jonathan Gallagher says, one more, have to go get revenge on Papa Smurf, <laughs> absolutely, all right, then let's do one more, we're spending all my money as well on this game, oh, hang on, no, that's on, yeah, online draft, okay, now this is, this is the most fun part for me, by the way, building the team, <laughs> it's more fun than actually winning the bloody, you know, playing the bloody games, Right, two seconds. I'm just going to have a, another little cigarette quickly. And then, uh, so I'm just going to take the camera off for just one moment, everybody. Don't go anywhere. I'm still here. I'm still speaking. Just going to do that for one moment while I have a little cigarette over real quick. Four, three, two, one, says Prince Sharma. Getting in there early with his pick. Um... 4-3-3 three, three holding looks pretty good to me right now. Rat face says no smoking. Yeah, my bad, my friend. JP says never dipped a crumpet in tea like. No, me neither. But maybe it's one of those things that just works. You know, like a McDonald's chip or a McDonald's fry in milkshake. 4-3-3 three, three, says Stephen United. Okay. So let's have a look at the... It's got to be the 4-3-3 holding, I guess. Yeah, it does have to be. 4-3-3 false nine with a centre forward. But let's go to the holding. Straight away, it's got to be Lionel Messi, doesn't it? Straight off the bat, we got Lionel. That's never a bad thing, I suppose. I don't actually like playing with Lionel. I much prefer Ronaldo on this game. Tony Martial scores again. Got Marco Royce as well, but we're going to go with Tony Marcel just because he's United. We're going to go with Tony, even though I actually should have looked and see who links up with Messi. I've had a mare there. <laughs> Has to be Killian. He links up with Martial, and he's just Killian Mbappe, so that's a sick one. We've done well there. He's got pace for days. Gerard Icon, gotta be just because he links up. I could go with Pogba for that French vibe still, but Gerard's gonna link up with the defence and everybody else as well. So it makes sense to go with Gerard to be fair. Going with that French vibe again, we'll go with Kante. That's a beastly central defensive midfielder to get there, to be honest. That is actually sick. 
Let's go with Paul Pogba, Man United French, makes a lot of sense. Let's go with it. This guy's a beast, man. Yuri Berchichi. Yuri Berchichi. Leobald's a beast too. Right, who do you think we should pick, guys? None of them play in the leagues that we want. So just take your pick, whoever you want. Maybe this guy, Berchi, Berchichi. Yes, good shout, WJ Davies. He says, switch Pogba and Gerard. Good shout. I will do that, mate. Absolutely. We're just going to go with Berchichi. Screw it. For now. Well, that's actually affected chemistry. It's because of the left back there. All right. We'll address that in a bit. Berezi. Thing is, Berezi's sick, but he's short, man. Look, he's five foot nine. Van Dyke's obviously a tank man at six foot four. Do you know what I mean? He's quicker as well. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn on this one between Berezi and Van Dyke, but I guess we've got to go with Berezi just because he's an icon and he'll link up with anybody, right? So I'm going to go with Berezi, guys. He's, even though he's short, man. I don't like a short centre-back. Well, it's got to be Langnet, really. I mean, Mario's great, but he's not going to link up. Langnet at least has that French vibe going on there. Let's go with the right back. Who's this beast, man? Williams plays for Exeter in England League 4. What? In League 2? It's League, f in League 2. That's crazy, man. But he's an 86 with 93 picks. Well, we've got to go with Puyol anyway. It's not great, though. Goalkeeper, we've been stitched. Right, let's hope we get a good goalkeeper now, then. Here we go. De Gea, Courtois. Let's just have a look at our team. So we've got Berezi and Lengmet at the back. Almost has to be Ruffier, just because he's an informed French keeper, even though he's nowhere near the best one on there. I don't know, what do you guys reckon? De Gea or, or Ruffier? We could play Puyol centre-back again, go with De Gea because he's just better. Yeah, David says Stephen United. I mean, I think we you know, I think we'll go with David. It makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? David De Gea says Mikhail Kramer as well. Yep, fair play. Let's go with David. Right, let's have a look. Left back pitch situation could do with improving. Dignates the man, isn't he really? Because he, he links up with every, everybody. So I say we go with him. Jimenez at centre back, but we've got better centre backs. Oh, actually, hang on. Nah. Hernandez. Hernandez. Definitely Hernandez, mate. Hernandez can replace Lengnet there. Yeah, let's go with Hernandez. What do you reckon? Dignate or, or Hernandez? We've already got a good left back. Michael Connor says, you Brits and your magical breakfast breads. <laughs> hey, Frogger2005, how you doing? He says, Pig, would you rather sell Bruno or Marcia? That's a horrible question to ask, but right now it'd probably be out of the two. I guess it would be Marcia who I'd rather sell. But I wouldn't want to sell either of them, to be honest. Right, let me just put my face cam back on, everybody. Yo. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, nice one. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thanks for tuning in and keeping and watching and staying with me. Uh, Digne says, Jonathan Gallagher. Um, who do you think we should get? I mean, I do think that this guy, Hernandez, because he's French and he's the better centre-back than Lenglet, we should go for go with him. I'm, I think I'm going to go with it. Digne says, Prince Sharma. That's two votes for Digne, though. But then... Hmm... I don't know. I'm really confused about that one. He would definitely improve the chemistry. Digne or Hernandez at centre back. Hernandez says ride the spiral. Have a vote, everybody. Vote in the in the live chat quick. We've got two for Digne, one for Hernandez. <clears throat> and only vote once. <laughs> Frogger, it would be Martial, big time. Only out of the two of them, but, you know. 
Mr. NLWT says, Jamie can't have Don Pigley, he only has the manager. Yeah, very true. It'd be nice to be able to select Don Pigley only, wouldn't it? Or somebody with this hat, because now it's like, why am I even wearing this hat? Three votes come in for Hernandez straight away, though. So that's four for Hernandez. There's another one for Digne. That's three for Digne. Four for Hernandez. Three for Digne. Um, must butter toast in Minnesota. We just have butter toast. Yeah, we do that too, but we also put all sorts on, on, on bread in the mornings. I'm not going to lie. Digne says Stephen United. G will says Hernandez. So that's five votes for Fernandez, four for Digne. I'll just let one more filter in. <laughs> Hernandez says Mr. NLWT. Chicharito says Rafi. Okay, we're going to go with Hernandez then. There you go. So it's a bold move. We've done it. Um, it kind of makes sense really because he's just French. So he links up fine and he's better than the guy who we just put him in there with. Okay, next one then, lads and lasses. Let's hope, hope we get somebody really beastly. La La, look at La La, man. He's French as well. He'll fit in there nicely. So let's go with La La. Yeah, La La looks sick. Check out La La. Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La, Po, Po, Turly Tubbies, <laughs> Turly Tubbies, say hello, hello. Check it out. La La's in there, mate. We've got a genuine Teletubby at right back. That's sick. <laughs> right, you there. Next one. Whiteman. Wa Hossam Wa's got to be, hasn't it? He's a bloody tank. Look at him as well. Fits in with that French vibe. See you later on, Paul Pogba, I'm afraid. Because Hossam Wa is freaking all over the gaff. But it does affect Kem a bit. Pogba was obviously linking up with... Well, I, don't know who... I don't know why it's affected Kem so much. Because he's French and he's linking up with Frenchman. Pogba's not in the same league as this guy. So I don't really get that, but fair enough. Um, next one. Uh, so it's got to be Overmars, obviously. Overmars, icon Overmars. That obviously put, it's, puts, puts Kylian Mbappe's place in the side at question. Maybe we could play Kylian Mbappe at striker. That makes a lot of sense. We'll bring Mbappe off the bench and play him at striker. That makes a lot of sense. Um... Wilfred Zaha, 92 rated Wilfred Zaha. Are you kidding me, son? This guy looks like a tank, man. 97 pace, 88 shooting. This guy's a tank, man. Wilfred Zaha, team of the season so far. What? Nutty. Right, okay. <laughs> Next one, then. We've got Petros, Jonathan, striker. We don't really need another striker because we've got Marcio and we've got Zaha, who's probably just going to go in there instead of Martial to be honest but Jonathan's pretty sick Firmino Petros guess we could do with another CDM backup right back pass let's just go let's just go with Petros there Pepe Kimmich Handanovic De Costa Jordi Alba Jordi Alba left back is that going to improve anything no De Costa would that improve anything chemistry wise no uh, well in that case who's our sub goalkeeper we don't have a good sub goalkeeper, so we just go with Handanovic. <coughs> oh, look at that Bruno Fernandez lad. Bruno Fernandez. Kimmich is a damn beast, though. Look at Kimmich at the back there. But Bruno Fernandez is Bruno Fernandez, to be fair. And he's an 89, so we're just going to go with Bruno Fernandez. Although the Kimmich was a tank. I mean, Kante's a tank, though, so we'll be all right. But yeah, Bruno Fernandez, man. Got to select him. Doesn't really matter. Go with the angry guy in the middle there, Spav. Santi Cazorla's looking pretty decent there. Coutinho, we'll just go with Santi Cazorla. Right, that's the complete draft. It's not as good as the last team, nowhere near, to be honest. But what can you do? We've got to go with Roy Hodgson, mate. <laughs> Hang on, we've got a lot of French players, though, so it makes a lot of sense to go with a French manager, to be fair. Yeah, we'll go with the Frenchie. We'll go with this guy. Okay then, guys, that's the end of the draft. That's how we've done. It's not as good as the last one, but we'll see how we do going forward. Let's just set this up then and choose what our best team is. So I think I'm going to bring Kylian Mbappe on at striker. I mean, I could play Wilfred Zaha there, actually, but that's going to affect chemistry a bit. I've got the Zaha option. Bruno Fernandes is obviously a beast there, but he's just not as good rated as any of these other midfielders that we've got, unfortunately. Like, look at the stats for Gerrard there. I mean, I'd, you know... He's just better. Plus, he's an icon, so he's linking up better. Um, 
Santi Cazorla on the bench there. Ruddy will be happy about that one. I mean, Santi Cazorla is pretty damn good, to be fair. I mean, you could actually put him there and it's not going to do too much, but I'll just have him on the bench as an option. Need a centre-back on the bench. Okay, so that's the team, everybody. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring Mbappe or Zaha off the bench instead of Martial. I think that's what we sort of have to do in this game. But there it is. We've got Hernandez, who's he's a centre-back six foot. We've got Barese. It's actually not too bad. It's pretty good. It looks pretty decent. What do you guys reckon about this one? Frogger says play over Mars at left back. That is a bloody bold move. But yeah, I mean, you could do. I mean, this guy's just way better defensively, though. But I hear you. You could do that and then obviously play Mbappe. But mm, I don't, I'm not liking that. I think that guy's just going to be a better left back for us. And maybe, you know, you've got... Messi's not too happy there over on... Yeah, there's, there's a few issues with this side. It's not worked out too well, actually. But we're going to leave it as is. See if it that's improved things a little bit. Um, Messi's just linking up with nobody. Which is not good. So maybe it would make sense to have, like... Yeah, Mbappe. There you go. We've got 100% chem. So what we'll do is we'll bring Messi on for Marcio and then swap... Maybe, what do you reckon, guys? Have a little vote. Messi at striker or, or Mbappe at striker? But that's what we're going to do, everyone. Let's go for it. Time to smash up some falls on the draft. We're going to win the draft tonight. Poo your left back, says Prince Sharma. Poo your left back, mate. That is a decent shout. Oh, oh it actually hurts the cam. To be fair, this guy's better. And because we've got the, the two icons here, he only links up with them two. So he's actually got 100% cam anyway. So he's fine. Um... The rest of it, though, I mean, I don't know if we can have a little tinker around and try and improve something, but no, I think that is the best bet, which isn't ideal. We've got a few chemistry issues, but we'll be all right, lads and lasses. Mbappe striker, Mbappe beast, says Prince Sharma. Mbappe, says JP. Keep Marcin on, says Jonathan Gallagher. Fair enough, but I mean, just look at just look at Mbappe and, and Marcio's stats there. Mbappe's quicker. Actually, actually, Marcio's... Actually, Marcio's pretty sick. We'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, lads and lasses. All right, let's do it. In the United says, if you don't win, you draft will gone down. Not too sure what you mean there, but it doesn't sound good, mate. So, uh, Fergie Knight says Marcy on left wing and Bappy up front. Right, he's paused it. Guacamole FC loves his guacamole, this guy, big time. Um, uh, okay, so let's just put. I think we should put Messi on there and play Mbappe up striker there. That kind of makes sense. Uh, yeah. We'll go with that. I think that makes a lot of sense. And Messi can sort of be that creative spark over on that right-hand side. Mbappe still got 90 shooting as well. Yeah, that's what we're going to do then. That's just the change that we'll do. Sorry, Tony. Tony Marshall's was a bloody hero, but he's going to have to do one there. Hey, we've hit over 70 likes, everybody. Thank you to everybody that's tuned in and chucked a like on it. If you haven't done so yet, please do hit the like button. And thank you very much for joining me on the stream tonight. Here we go, then they're playing this guy, Guacamole FC. Good luck to you, mate, if you can hear me. It looks like you can, but good luck to you. But I think I'm going to do him. We'll see. <laughs> nice one. Steven Gerrard's won it back there. Space down the left. It's a good ball over the top then. Overmars is onto it. Mark Overmars brings it back down into play, but he's been out-muscled and he's lost the ball. Steven Gerrard. Loses out, and we've been exposed at the back. Barese forward. Barese covering like a little terrier, but this guy's doing all right, to be fair. This guy's a little bit tricky, but we're all right. We're all right here. Well kept hold of there. No issues, no dramas. Play it around. 
Good bit of play down the right. Through the middle, working it round, no messing around. Down the right. Whip it in, sun back post. Go on. Oh, good effort, but saved there by Hugo Lloris. He's got in goal. Attack at the near post. Sprayed out to the left-hand side. Get it back in there. Good ball to the back post again, but the goalkeeper's made the, the touch. Decent bit of pressure off from us, but he's got a chance to counter. Did he dally on it a little bit there? We've won it back. Nice bit of play. Kylian Mbappe looking for Lionel. There's Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi down the right, but he is challenged. I just do not like Lionel Messi on this game. He might have a high rating or whatever, but I just do not like him on this game at all. You know what I mean? Like, he's just too weak. Give me Ronaldo every day of the week. <laughs> I'm a poet and I don't know it. Nice bit of defending. Here we go then. Here we go. Looks like a good counter-attacking opportunity here. Kylian Mbappe is through the middle, but he's just touched it awfully, man. Play it out from the back slowly then. Here we go. Steven Gerrard moving forward. Here we go. Steven Gerrard's just going to run into that space. Steven Gerrard's got all the space to run into here. Gets his head up. Crosses it to the back post. Kante! Oh! Kante with the shot, but it is blocked away. Decent bit of pressure from us. It's a tough game so far, this one. Very tight. Very tight, tough game. Hmm. Oh, no, man! He's freaking done us at the near post there. Griezmann, Antoine Griezmann, man. Damn it. He's done our defender there. Shocking slide challenge in there. And it's a great bloody finish. Griezmann, fair play to him. He's done us. Ah. Right, come on then. Let's bloody do this. I'm not messing around anymore. We've just spent another 15,000 on, on entering this draft. We're going to win. We're going to win. Mark Overmars on the ball. Sloppy. Sloppy from Overmars, but he's somehow done the defender. It's an awful cross from Mark Overmars. No wonder you bloody played for Arsenal, mate. You're useless. Shocking. And he's got the advantage now. That's it. He's got the advantage. I'm going to have to get at him. No, no good, no good, no good. Go on then, we've got Lionel away. Go on, Lionel. Well done, Lionel Messi. Yes, Lionel Messi. Lionel puts it on a plate. Oh! Come on, Jose Moua, mate. Jose Moua, you've had a mare. What a save that was by the keeper, though. Great bit of play by Lionel Messi. He's put it on a plate. You've got to put that away. You've got to finish that. Ugh. That's like, you know, you, you go into somebody's home or whatever and you see them literally cooking away for hours and hours and hours and cooking a hot bloody meal for you. And then what do you do when they present it to you at the dinner table? You turn your nose up at it. That's just what happened there. Jose Moua, man. He's a rude dynamite. Come on, what's that? Good bit of defending, very necessary, but we've given it away instantly. Nice. 
Nice, Killian and Bappe. Ah, oh, we're not out of this. No way, we're only one down. You just wait. We're gonna score. We will. We will succeed. Oh, referee blowed it there. What's he thinking? Anyway, let's just dive back into the live chat, guys, for a second here. Jonathan Gallagher's loving it. Uh, Fergie99 says Phil Scones. He loves a bit of Phil Jones Scones. Ruddy Can't Games says I have the first free Streets of Rage. You need to get the fourth one. I have been playing Streets of Rage 4 and my cousins. Hell yeah, man. I still can't believe I've not played Streets of Rage 4, man. I'm a huge fan of the Streets of Rage games back in the day. Frogger says, Pig, can you try co-op camera? Uh, I'll have a look at that on another stream. Maybe we'll try that out on another stream for sure, man. Um, but I'll check it out another time off stream because it might be a bloody mare if I do it this time. Eddie A says, what's up, fellas? How you doing, Eddie A, man? Great to see you. Zaha for Overmars, says Prince Sharma. Might not be a bad shout, that. We'll have to change. We should change someone up soon if it's not happening because Overmars has pr been pretty janky, actually, hasn't he? Nice bit of play, though. Nice bit of play. Finish it off, son. Get in. What a goal. Who was that, by the way? He set that up and he finished it off. And it was majestic. Oh, it was Kenny Lala, the right back. Can you believe that bit of play from Kenny Lala, the right back? That was sick. It was absolutely sick play from the right back. Check it out. Oh, you missed the one-two, but he did a cheeky little one-two. Fergie99 says, what a goal. Come on, lads. We're back in this game. Kenny Lala, mate. Go on. Yeah, get in, Pigo, says Mikhail Kramer. Yes, Pig's back. Boom, says Eddie United. Fergie 99 says, we're in La La Land right now. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, La La Land. I like that. That's sick. <laughs> Here we go. That was awesome from Kenny Lala. So having to keep our shape here a little bit. He's passing it around, working his chances very well here. Oh, no, he's done us completely. What the hell, man? What the bloody hell has just happened to our back line, man? It's a freaking absolute melt job all over the gaff. You remember I was talking about bloody playing a team of Terminators earlier on with 10 T-1000s on the outfield players and a T-100 in goal, yeah? Well, now what we've done is we've turned into our own Terminators, except we're the bloody Terminators at the end of bloody Terminator 2 when he gets chucked into the molten vat of liquid metal. We've melted like that, man. That's what's happened. That was a crumble job at the back. You know, we've literally gone down into the lava and we've given the old... We've given the old one of those. We've given the old one of those as we melt into the lava at the back. <sighs> Done him. What's that? What's that? Oh, man. Come on, boys. Make your mind up. Whoa! What's happened, De Gea? What are you doing, David? Shocking. Oh, I can't believe that. We fought all that way to get back into this game with that lovely goal, and then we just crumble dropped at the back like that. Stupid scripting bullshit game. That's my head in, man. We'll look to make some substitutes in a moment when it goes out of play. There you go. That's better defending. And, and right, here we go. Now we can counter. Now we can counter. We've got lots of time and lots of space out there on the left in particular. And that's a good ball. And Overmars is there. And he keeps hold of it. Oh, come on, Overmars. He's useless. I'm going to put Wilfred Zaha on, man. He's lacking something out there for me, Mark. Oh, we just tried to do a little bit too much. Mm. 
And this guy's decent, to be honest. Whoa, he's done me. Great save, great block. Oh, my days, he done me there. But luckily, he's missed a shot. But crikey, done me a big one. Giving it the old fake pass and all that, this guy. Oh, he's done it a good and again. No. Yes. 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 Nice. Nice. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes, lads. Yes, lads. Counter time. We love a counter. We love a counter attack. Oh. I'm not going to get a chance to make the substitution because he hasn't bloody given away possession of this whole time. He's done me a good and he's done me a good and what a goal. What a goal. Sometimes you just have to freaking hold your hands up and say that was a bloody good goal. And unfortunately this guy's absolutely ranked me silly here. What a shite night of FIFA action for you, lads and lasses, I must say. It's been a bloody calamitous situation over here all night long. Look at this. Let's make a couple of substitutions then. Although it'll probably be no avail, but we're going to get Gerard off for Bruno Fernandes. We're going to put Zaha on four over Mars. <sighs> Shocking. Pogba might as well come on as well for Jose Moir. Might as well. We're out of substitutions because we put Renat. Whatever. We didn't do that. <sighs> Jonathan Gallagher says, no way. Oh, I'm gutted. I'm gutted. We've had a nightmare tonight. It's not been a good stream. You know, not only have we melted against the computer on Ultimate, but we've melted on Ultimate Team FUT Draft as well. It's been a proper old-fashioned melt. Maybe there's still time. Oh, not with passes like that. Yes, won it back. Come on. Clinical, clinical, clinical. Mbappe. Referee! He's elbowed! This guy's a little bitch with Messi. It's a little bitch with Messi. Put a bit of defending there to get it finally. Oh. Now, nah, this guy ain't losing now, is he? I don't think this guy's losing now. It's too much time's gone by. Great last ditch challenge there, but we've given it away instantly. Shocking play from us. No. Referee. Yes. Goalkeeper's done it. Crikey, dodgy stuff. We are awful at defending. What's happened? What's going on with this defensive display? This is terrible. He's just walked through our whole team. Oh, my days. We are gash. We need to go back to the drawing board. Never mind career mode. This is terrible. Overlapping run. Bashishe. This is the first time we've seen this guy all match, I think. He puts the ball. It's a good one as well, but nobody can get on the end of it. Being just very disappointing in this game. Moistastic. This is like the good old Moisey days, this is. Oh, man, what a shocking game. We've been done all completely, really. Pretty categorically done there. <sighs> Useless man. Hey, guys, so there you go. We've had a freaking nightmare. How are you doing, Ant Walden? What's going on, Ant Walden? Good to see you. Anthony Walden, everybody. WJ Davies says, I think crepes are bigger than a pancake and a bit thicker than pancakes. Fair play, yeah, I like a crepe, I like a pancake. I'm all into all those crepes, all those crazy crepes. Chocolate sauce on a crepe. Oh, you can't go wrong. Co-op is just default more of you. Fair play, Frogger. I'll check that out. I'll definitely check it out, Frogger. 
Um, Inner says, this guy is damn good. Yeah, he was really good, actually, that guy. Like, he was just very tricky. Like, he kept taking it left, right, left, right with Messi. And he was causing me all sorts of problems, man, defensively. So, fair play to him. You know, he's done well. JP says, I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. Just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. <laughs> Ellie says, where is everyone? Gone quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, it's quite late in the morning, actually. It's 1.15 a.m. Very quiet now. So, you know, we're pretty much coming to the end of the stream now anyway, guys. We lost, so we're not going to give it another go. But we'll have, we'll open our packs and see who we got in the packs. But once again, thanks to everybody that's watched the vid. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And also hit the like button as well if you can. That will help us out. Check out the website, flyingpigunited.com. And uh, also on Twitter, Mr. Flying Pig HD and Flying Pig United. Check out the Facebook page, Flying Pig United. Yeah, get over there, lads and lasses. And thank you very much for tuning in and, and all that. But at least we scored one decent goal in that game, but it was pretty poor. So after we only didn't even get a win, so we're just getting some crappy gold packs now and a crappy silver pack. So, you know, Gomez incoming, says Michael Cards. Yeah, you know it. Hey, thank you, Frogger. He says, well played, pig. Amazing stream. Prince Sharma says, unlucky. He was good. Thanks, lads and lasses. Yeah, he was pretty damn good. It wasn't Gomez, but it was, it was, it was his countryman. You can't get Gomez. Obviously, it's a silver pack. You just wait for these gold packs. Wait for it. We're getting a bit of Gomez action. What are these guys? Copa Libertadores. Oh, fair enough. He doesn't... McAllister doesn't sound like the most Argentinian name ever, does it? McAllister. You know, Mac Allister. Fair enough. Kevin McAllister. Hang on, isn't Kevin McAllister the name from the guy in Home Alone? <laughs> it actually is. Isn't it? Yeah, the character that Macaulay Golkin plays in Home Alone is called Kevin McAllister. <laughs> And this guy's home alone, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't don't bust into this guy's house if you're Joe Pesci or that other guy. Do you know what I mean? Don't 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 burst into this guy's house ever. Okay, you know, like Deli Ali's house when he was broken into the other day and he had some robbers come in and hit him and take some of his stuff. Since you don't want to be trying that with this guy, this guy's got these guys got Christmas decorations crushed up on the floor by the windowsills. He's got a hot handle on every single door you better believe it when you go into this guy's house <laughs> kevin McAllister, that is funny as his name's bloody kevin McAllister. keep the change you filthy animal says mckay kramer tar i'm not going to answer your question you're just gonna have to make that assumption yourself uh, Michael Collins says, paint cans to the face. <laughs> Mate, classic. What about the old iron? <laughs> Drops the iron down the laundry chute on his face. He's got the iron imprinted on his face, man. That is hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, Kevin McAllister. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> that is such a freaking good movie. Oh... Uh... Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> anyway, Kevin McAllister, everybody. There you go. We, that's who we've got. Let's open the rest of the packs. <laughs> Sorry, I just found that funny. He's literally got the same name as the guy from Home Alone. And he is not actually even... Like, he's actually Argentinian. Who's called Kevin McAllister from Argentina? That is random. Fair enough. <laughs> Fisher. Oh, no. Shocking. <coughs> Not good. Not a good pack there. Terrible stuff. Get rid of these then. One more random gold pack and then we'll end on this, lads and lasses. But once again, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Do hit that like button. Do subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we, we go live. And I'll see you very, very soon on the next one. It's another crap pack. Sionchu of, of Leicester City at the back there. Gashtastic Arama. What a gash stream in terms of football, lads and lasses. I apologise. <laughs> Uh, next one's going to have to be better though isn't it eh? the next stream's going to be better lads and lasses we'll do some billy bits in the next one um, we hope alright then ladies and gents it's late I'm going to let you guys get on but I want to say thank you to all you especially all you legends that are sitting here right now honestly WJ Davies, JP, Ellie Illy United, Michael Collins, Mikheu Kramer Fergie99 um, shout out to the usual heroes the Matty, the Rushmeister the the, the uh you know, the Cinnamon, uh, Ruddy, of course. Um, who else are my freaking... Uh, Gangshi, uh, I think I've already said him, did I? I don't know. Ellie, Eddie Rouse. Prince Sharma says it was fun, pig. Thank you very much, Prince Sharma. 
Um, the Cineman says, Night all, absolute hero, the Cineman. Stay classy. Catch you soon, my friend. JW says, Cheers, pig. Shout out, JW92. Au revoir, pigo, and the bacon brigade says, WJ Davies. Johnny Hinton says, Night pig and all. Thank you, Johnny Hinton, one of the legends of the channel, also. Ant Walden, you have a bloody good evening, too. JP. Ben Dor in the his house. He says, Oh wow, just tuned in and you are leaving. Yeah, unfortunate that one, Ben Dor. Please catch up if you can though. Um, but you didn't miss that much apart from us getting battered around for most of the stream. Alright then. <laughs> Everybody, if you want to shout out at the end, do comment at the end right now and do leave a like rating on it if you can. That will help out the channel immensely. Also, come back once this video is finished and get your thoughts and opinions in afterwards in the not live comments and I'll try and respond to everybody there also. Um, see you soon, guys. It's going to be amazing, isn't it? The football's coming back. We've got City versus Arsenal Wednesday. We've got United versus Spurs Friday. We've got thick and fast action. Four games in 12 days for Manchester United. Come on, my son. It's going to be sick. So keep a look out for it and keep a look out for the next episode of FIFA. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. The next episode is probably going to be on the Flying Pig Gaming channel because I'm just going to, you know, transition all the gaming stuff over to there. But we are going to keep doing it. I love doing these with you core legends of legends, you know, the core group of Legiones. So thank you to you all. Stay bloody classy. I know that you will. Have a great evening. Every single one of you tuning in, Illy United, Eddie A getting in here at the end, Fergie 99, Ellie Frogger, uh, Ben Dor, Mikheyu, you know, if I've not mentioned you, just understand that the pig buddy loves you, and thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, and stay classy everyone, Ryan Berber Spin 9 at the end, shout out to you, JP says, laters haggers, <laughs> laters mate, off to do some spellbounding wizardry now my friend, I'll see you on the next one, we better do some spellbounding wizardry on our FIFA game, because that was bloody gashtastic. Right then, you legends, I'll see you very, very soon. All of you, once again, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you later. Have a great evening. Have a good sleep. Have a great day tomorrow, you all. And stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you on the next one. This is the pig. Take it easy. And come on, United, and come on, the Bacon Brigade. And unfortunately, we're a bloody melt bag. But next time, when we come back, we're going to smash up some internet melts. See you in a bit, guys. Take it easy. Have a great evening. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, it was a bit of a nightmare, wasn't it, in the end, guys? But that's how it goes. This is just the um, the the end the end credits, just to say thank you to everybody that tunes in and and uh, who is a patron of the channel on Patreon. Check the link in the description if you'd like to support the channel on Patreon. Also, the tier two channel members appear on this list. But thanks to everybody that does that. Honestly, it definitely helps out with the channel and and um, you know helps us grow and and keep these uh these lights on so shout out to you all um but yeah bunch of heroes really appreciate you all watching thank you very much for getting involved and uh look forward to seeing you on the next one where we will do a lot better hopefully also i've got to add i think it's tom jackson is the only person we've got to add to this list at the moment but shout out special shout out to tom jackson because his name's not on here yet but massive shout out to you all stay classy have a good evening i'll see you on the next one this is the ping <laughs>